You are listening to Open Mic Live. This is Rio Paris. This is one of the greatest podcasts in the universe. Make sure you stay tuned in. Warning, the following program may contain moments of great personal reflection, sudden and striking realizations, things you should not try at home, the truth about cats and dogs, incomplete thoughts, rambling gibberish, completely ridiculous opinions, winning lottery numbers, things you could really care less about, barking dogs, and unfortunately, Mike and Stan. Who likes to be silly? I like to be silly. What kind of radio show is this? This town needs an enemy. Ah. Uh, it's about to get all stupid up in here. Get up, my- Welcome to Open Mic Live right here on OpenMicTheShow.com. There you can get involved, play games with us and more every Thursday at 7 p.m. You can also find our friends and family, Spicoli TV, tomorrow night at 9. Tonight at 10 Eastern, Nitwit.tv, uh, Comics Brews, a podcast you can catch on there. And uh, everything IRN, Happy Hour, Double Special, and more. Check them out. What's going on on today's show, Stan? Okay, so today we will bring you our usual games, uh, Mike's Game of the Week. Floridiot, or I mean Stanley Feud. Also, we were talking about Floridians, you know, our usual dumbasses that live in Florida. And the topic of the week is three member bands. I don't know why. It's just a coincidence that we have a three member band in the studio. Sunshine and Bullets is joining us, and well, two thirds of Sunshine and Bullets is joining us in the studio. The important member is still at work. So, <laughs> welcome, guys. Oh, the drummer? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for showing up. I appreciate it. And, uh, Anytime. What, what's going on? Uh, we've decided that we're going to start doing all the checks right at the start of the show. Dude, I'm like a cat, though. If I see this <laughs> shit, I'm following the light wherever it goes. <laughs> <laughs> Is that better? Oh, yeah. It's good. Thank you. All right. All right. So the other night, I listened to the Mad Talk Show on IRN, which is w- we're broadcast on IRN now mm-hmm. live every Thursday. Mm-hmm. And the Mad Talk Show was broadcast live, and we had DJ Chaz on last, last week yep. on the phone, and he was a great interview. Yep. Dude, great show. They have a very good show, and the guy had great things to say about us. Actually, he had such great things to say about us that his co-host told him to stop sucking our dicks. Well, so, <laughs> um, <laughs> so we might need to hit that co-host over here, huh? Or just give him another five bucks so he just won't stop. <laughs> but either way... So I would like to thank them, and I'm I'm thinking about going on their show. Just okay, going on their live. I'll let you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> it's his show. Can you tell? <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's no stand in the freaking title. I'm not sure if it, you'll see him point that out like 18 times. His desk is a little bit taller than yours too. But it's just funny because he's just a little bit taller than me. Yeah. It, well, it means he has two extra phone books, so he can get to the freaking <laughs> microphone. So welcome, guys. So three three member bands is what we're going to talk about today. Cool. And you know, there's a bunch. There's a bunch of them, right? Like, off the top of your head, I realize that, you know, can you name one that sticks out? Jimi Hendrix? My um, my first concert ever was Green Day, so that one sticks out for Was me. it really? Yeah. How old are you guys? All right, I'm 43. We'll get it out of the way. 34. You remember? Yes. Oh, good, me too. I'm 34. 34. Yeah, oh, you, you, oh, seriously? <laughs> yeah. So you all met in grade school? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys are from the Bay Area? Yeah. Like, you grew up, born he and is. raised here? Totally okay. Tampa. He is. Yeah. Oh, I am. I'm a Tampa. Where'd you go to school? Yeah. Uh, Sickles High School for high school, uh, Citrus Park Elementary for elementary. All right. Um, you know, ah, crap, Ben Hill. Oh, I almost went to Ben Hill. I'm just a few years older than you, but I went to Chamberlain. Ah, okay. Oh, so you don't, you know how we, bad we suck at football. Who, Chamberlain or Sickles? Sickles. <laughs> Sickles. Did, did you play football? No, but <laughs> I know. Were I you in the band? They were terrible. Oh. No. <laughs> well, I, I was the weird g- dude that nobody liked because I was playing guitar and stuff, so... Really? Because <laughs> there was the other weird dude that had all the girls around him. Yeah. That, that was, wasn't you. No, totally not. <laughs> He's like, I wanted to be that weird dude. I was much fatter back then. <laughs> oh, were you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> fat, fat dudes always got the chicks filet. If they were in a band. Oh, well, what kind of band? Not the <laughs> band. <laughs> not the band. <laughs> so you're not from Tampa? No, my uh, my dad was in the Navy, so we moved around a lot. I actually went to West Shore Elementary when I was younger. So I lived here I previously. Cool. For like a half a year. Awesome. And then I skipped right over to moving around a bunch and then came back and went to USF. So Went oh, to USF? Yeah. What'd you, what'd you do there? Um, s- dropped out. 
That's what I'm talking. My kind of girl. It's good for Einstein. It's good for us. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't see like, Bill Gates hanging out <laughs> around <laughs> college. Yeah. Like any successful musician. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, like, my, you know, you, you have your typical the police, mm-hmm. your Nirvanas, right? Oh, I mean, yeah. from the old to the new oh, type, yeah. well, almost new. Mm-hmm. But are there any current three member bands? I mean, really? Sick puppies. And they've yeah. even got a girl in their band who plays bass. That's, what I'm t- that's why she knows. <laughs> yeah, that's why I know it. Yeah. She yeah. had that written out already. She knew you were going to ask that question. <laughs> It's yeah. on her hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's got cliff notes. Who's <laughs> 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 Bass player. Or, no, guitar player. And for what's he doing it. in your oh. hand? <laughs> <laughs> Too soon? <laughs> no, no. It's uh, He just had his birthday, right? Or what anniversary of Cliff Burton. Oh. Yeah. So you, how about Primus? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because you got me thinking about your hand and Cliff. And all <laughs> 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 Woo, time to change the subject. <laughs> but like Primus, that's one of my wife's favorites. She loves oh, the awesome. bassist in that stupid thing. Yeah. Oh, that dude's crazy. Of course, yeah. He's awesome, right? Yeah. Until I introduced her to Robert Randolph and the family band, and then she's like, oh, well, maybe he's a little better. <laughs> Have you guys, are you guys familiar with them at all? Robert Randolph? Mm-mm, no. Oh, oh. Well, Victor Wooten, uh, you know, uh, Jocko. And, yeah. Uh, what's mm-hmm. that dude, Billy Sheehan, stuff yeah, like yep. that? That's good. awesome, right? Mm-hmm. What what was that? Uh, the, the, that's a good guitar bass guitar player. Yeah, those, those guys are nuts. That's why I'm like Jesus. <laughs> I saw I saw him on, the, on uh, Victor Wooten do a clinic at uh, the music store, and I was like, Wow, that guy knows how to play bass like really good. And then he's all like, Yeah, you don't need to go all crazy with it. You just kind of chill with this note right here. And then he's like, Or you could do that. <laughs> <laughs> But that's, that's why I love the basses, because they are just hanging out back there, just kind of, man, living it up, right? <laughs> and then the lead singer has a duty to do, you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. it's just ridiculous. How about the Life and Times? You ever heard of them? Mm-mm. Me neither. No. No, actually, I have friends. Someone just put that in there. <laughs> oh. Life and Times is a three-member band. Oh, Great. Nice. Who the fuck knows who they are? I, I mean, maybe we just suck at knowing things. I, cool. I definitely suck at knowing bands. I'm do you sorry. really? Yeah. <laughs> I, I suck at knowing movie lines. <laughs> I can't quote movies, so we're even. Yeah. I don't watch fair. movies, so I feel you. Do, do you? Yeah, I don't. You don't watch movies at all? No. I, he I, watched the Ninja Turtles. Hey. Holy crap. Hell yeah, high five. Oh. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. I mean, TMNT this forever. This kid's got freaking Ninja Turtle like, plastic shit on his counter out there. We're closing the There's show. There's actually some down there. hang out and play Ninja Turtles, okay? Yay! Where where are we gonna go? We can just stay right here. Okay. Can I just hide the ninja <laughs> eggs outside and y'all go find them? Like, <laughs> I saw those. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> is that, is everything we, is gonna be all right. So which one are you taking with you? <laughs> I used. To, <laughs> I don't. Steal you can't them. keep is, the. You can't split them up. Okay, which one do you want them. me to give you, you to take? No, <laughs> you can't steal them. That is against the way of the ninja. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think that's ass backwards. I think the ninja is all about stealing and assassination. Well, not the ninja turtles though. Oh, that's right. They stand for code of conduct and splinter. <laughs> splinter top them well. That's right. So which one of the mags is Splinter I, hiding in? I don't go yeah, I don't know. You gotta guess. <laughs> it's like the shell game. So, <laughs> Shiv- what you just happened? Want me to oh, do a check go. on? Uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, I'm trying to see see if your mic's going good. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it works. <laughs> yep. Yeah, mine too. You were fine. <laughs> Sorry. So let's change genres. Apologize. How about the Beastie Boys? Hell yeah. Ooh, yeah. Who doesn't love the Beastie Boys, right? I uh, can't think of anybody. Crazy. Can you really? No, no, I can't. Uh, I can't think of. I anybody can think of people who love them, but not not someone not, who not, doesn't like them. Yeah, right. Yeah. I mean, maybe we just aren't friends with them for reasons. Like <laughs> for <Right>? reasons. <laughs> for a very good reason, we are not friends with people. I don't blame you. Like, what's your favorite Beastie Boys song? Oh, sabotage. Really? Yeah. Come Is on. it? Yeah. That was actually my least favorite in in, ele- in uh, elementary school or whenever that came out. But but the baseline. No sleep till Brooklyn. <laughs> oh, now I don't mind it. Now now I actually like it. But I didn't care for it in school. Oh no! So what you want? That's what I'm thinking of. Oh yeah, that, I didn't care yeah. for that one so much. It's funny. Saw, it's funny how people like songs for different reasons. Like the baseline. Yeah. Like that's the first thing I listen for when I'm listening to a song. That baseline is what kind of that is a cool baseline. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I mean. I mean, intergalactic planetary. I mean, I can't. That, no, that, I'm just kidding. I mean, that was <laughs> I just thought second favorite. Fun. Is it really? <laughs> yeah. um, I wasn't just kidding. That's just serious. I love that <laughs> song. I don't understand. Are you serious? You didn't like that song? I do love it. Okay. Oh. I just like their suits. Yeah. Is that what yeah. it was? Yeah, <laughs> suits. Yeah, they're awesome. <laughs> <laughs> they had to be hot as hell in there for the filming. <laughs> oh, could you imagine? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> they only can wear them like, for like 20 minutes or It'd something. Like if it's a real. McDonald in Florida. I wouldn't want to be I wouldn't want to be a mascot in Florida. Would you? I mean, no. seriously. They probably and have plenty of ventilation or it really smells. Oh, it definitely smells. I had to work for a, a chicken restaurant, and when they had to do advertising, you know, this is Florida, go out there in the chicken costume with the chicken head and everything, and it's like they had stockings, and I'm like, no, I'm not wearing that. 
<laughs> nope. I get gonorrhea just by wearing this thing. I'm not down with that. <laughs> I, I wear them enough around the house. I'm not wearing them out here, too. It said I just got herpes from the, hel- from okay. the mask. <laughs> it, it was okay. Were you guys Navarna people or, no, or not really? I mean... It don't matter. I mean, I, no, I, I, he's I, not I, listening. I personally. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a shot to the. <laughs> oh. Oh wow. I'm sorry. What just happened? Go ahead. Yeah, uh, I'm, I personally wasn't. I Low wasn't blow. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> it was actually up here. The blow. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, Wait a minute! You came at me. <laughs> Show me what's in your hand, Cliff. It's a cheap shot. What? What? No, <laughs> a cheap shot. <laughs> 50 cents. Oh, damn, cheap shot. No, okay, it's totally different. How about you? I like them okay. I, I, I can't say that they're one of my favorite they bands, but they're not out. one like, of my least. They inspire you at all, right? They're just kind of there. I like yeah. them there, but I, their new stuff just never was created, so it sucked. <laughs> Even when they did, like, because there yeah. were a few things that were released, and it just was bad. Yeah, I mean, there's a reason why things don't get released off of the top secret stuff. They were kind of like, yeah, let's just put that away, and let's think about that later. If anyone got on our computer, it'd be like, "Ooh, let's not do that." that. <laughs> like, that's not weird. That's not do that file. <laughs> we should do that. We should delete that shit. Why would Just because you can record it doesn't mean it needs to be heard. Oh, I mean, we got to the end. And we're like, "Yeah, delete." <laughs> <laughs> I didn't delete them. I saved them just so that when we die, we can release them Hell and people can do. be disappointed in us. Well, they're, well. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we'll get into how y'all feel about your bad music later. <laughs> 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 so anyway, we, we have games that we play around we here. We do have games. And do we have prizes to give away? Do we, we, do we have CDs? Do in the van. That's not out there. The van's not out there. Dang. You don't have any. Co- you have CDs. In the uh, I mean, I'm not going to deliver them tonight, them. guys. Oh yeah. We'll see oh, that. okay. We'll bring them back. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, yes. are, are you going to take the van over to the winner's house? I mean, come on. <laughs> I mean, I even offered to buy it. It's a big no, scary we'll van. <laughs> it, it is a big white scary van with uh, all tinted out windows. Love that free candy on Dude, the side. That's badass. <laughs> well, we don't want to put free candy on there because we don't have any candy. So <laughs> that's false advertisement. Right, yeah, you don't want to get sued. Yeah, absolutely. We don't want that kind of crap to happen. Dude, if you just paint ice cream cones on the outside of it, I will run up to that fucker every time. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I but, just, yeah, we just we also cities. don't want to deal with any kids. They're kind of a pain in the ass. <laughs> the time. So, like, now my wife loves you. I want, I want, yeah, now I want, I want ice cream. I, I, we don't have ice cream here. Mommy, they said they don't have ice cream. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, dickhead. <laughs> no ice cream. So we're going to play a game, and eventually you will get a CD, right? We have CDs, and we will give CDs for prizes. That. Yay. Oh, oh, what is the title how's of it CD? going? The title of the CD Very is wide. Triangular Mechanism. And we will figure out what the fuck that means in the next segment. Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> and we're going to find we're out what EPs We are not the ones to ask on that one. We're going to find out what EPs and LPs are. I, I finally learned what that is because I never understood it. All right. And that's really not that Now exciting. we'll finally know because I still don't know. No, I'll <laughs> I, I know <laughs> extended play, long play. My dad used to have records. Then you know. But that doesn't exist right, with CDs. so we don't CDs. need to do the show anymore. Uh, all right, well. Just answer that question. What's the difference between extended and long, though? Any other, like, philosophical stuff <laughs> we need talk to know? about that. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Coming up next is religion and politics. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I'm not drunk yet. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so I got a, uh, I got a internet, uh, something that should be going viral. I think you'll like this one. I think you'll actually like this one. Surf's up. See you on the net. On the mark, get set. We're riding on the internet. Cyberspace set free. Hello, virtual reality. Interactive appetite. Searching for a website. A window to the world. Got to get online. Take a spin. Now you're in with the techno set. You're going surfing on the internet. He just looked at her like, what did we get ourselves into? Oh, don't worry. It gets worse. Well, I'm <laughs> waiting for expletives. It's, that's, that's just what I'm always waiting for. No, that was a, ni- that was a real 90s bit. I just took it. I stole oh. it. Oh, it awesome. That's it was awesome. The, it was like learn it, how to learn the internet or something. Oh, I seen that. Yeah, that thing's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> It's perfect for our show. It had, no, it had, no, I, it's okay. There's no, no I like point that. searches but, on but, there. But the funny thing is, is they didn't quite express the, the, the desire and the pain that was the AOL dial-up service. So <laughs> they didn't quite get that. Yeah, they weren't point. punching themselves in the face. Yeah, yeah. They weren't like kids trying to kill their moms because their mom <laughs> disconnected the, cell, the phone and stuff like that. That's hilarious. All right, so this took place, I believe it was last night on Jeopardy. And you know how uh, the boring uh, storytelling of the... Contestants and you know Alex comes in. Well, uh, this one was actually worth listening to. Ooh, maybe. Favorite type of music is something I've never heard of, but it doesn't sound like fun. I think it's very fun. It's called nerdcore hip hop. It's nerdcore hip hop. Yes, um, it's uh, 
people who identify as nerdy, rapping about the things they love, video games, science fiction, having a hard time meeting romantic partners, you know. <laughs> it's really catchy and fun. Losers, in other words. <laughs> Jeez. Alex, you're back the singer. You Someone really get that, that girl some him. ice. Dude, if Alex Trebek calls you a loser... Take it. <laughs> take it. run with it. Yeah, it's pretty much guaranteed. <laughs> someone, right. someone just needs to give her some aloe for that burn, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up, man. Uh, Zinga. Damn. All right. It's time. Shall we play a game? Pop quiz, hot shot. Because he broke the rules. One rule. You did it. You did it. I knew you would. I just knew you would. Let's just do it. Let's beat this thing head on. And you were, you were in it to win it. Just quick notes. What's that? Just, just a, a check. I mean, it's not really anything. I love that. You should see the picture on the other side. I took that privately. <laughs> what the hell just happened? Oh, wait, let me get this before that goes there. All right, so There's this no is... There's no picture there. <laughs> what about... This is Mike's Game oh. of the Week. Basically, we have trivia questions. Uh, we do have a winner. We do have a, a gift for our winner this week. Um, and you do have the point system there. And this is the only part of the show where you guys have to work. Okay. The, the upside-down cards in front of you, you pull one out for each question, and those are the points for that question. Okay. Do we randomly pick it? Yeah. Generally, upside-down. But, I mean, however you want to do it, bro. It's, it's up to you. But you guys are also playing, by the way. Oh. So you oh. give answers, and you're playing against the listeners. Ooh. And the winner gets a CD. If you guys win, you get to pick one of the listeners to give it to. Is this like whose line is it anyway? Because I don't understand the rules. No, it's just trivia. It is. The points <laughs> don't matter. That's, that's Okay, great. Awesome. All right. So the first question is worth how many points? Uh, eight. Eight. All right. Eight points. Oh, okay. Starting high. Eight points. So Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon spent how many weeks on the Billboard charts? How many weeks did Dark Side of the Moon spin on the billboard chart. Can I phone a friend? No. Do you have a friend? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it was a bluff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say 420. 420. Um it's not still there. What's that? It's still not on the billboard charts. It, it was no longer on there in 1988. From 73 to 88. No, don't say that. I just did. I can't count. Pick a number. How many weeks is that? And <laughs> 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 so, so seventy three to eighty eight. That you said, yeah. holy crap! That's fifty two times. Eight. What? What is it? I don't know. I Just make a goddamn Take number. Four hundred sixty two. Wrong. The answer is seven hundred and forty one. Oh. Rich gets it. I do. Four hundred sixty two. Because the highest. Oh, it's other the highest was, bidder. Yeah. Was, uh, other, well, closest. Don't know. The yeah, highest don't one other than you was two hundred. <laughs> I didn't wow. know it was like golf. No complicated. <laughs> uh, it's not though. How many points is this one worth? Oh yeah. Oh, um, this swing. <laughs> okay. Uh, Welcome, um, Nate from G2P. We're gonna go oh, with hey. four. Uh, four points. Uh, all right. Uh, Rod Stewart holds the record for the largest concert crowd ever. Rod filled the Copacabana Beach in Rio de Janeiro in Brazil with how many people on December thirty first, nineteen ninety four? One million. Uh, the highest <laughs> number. Uh huh. On record. 4.5 million. Think of Metallica here. Metallica had some big numbers. That one, I think I just shared it was 1.5. So on the board, we got a 1.5 million, a 300,000. Yeah, 300,000. <laughs> These guys have had bigger freaking audiences than that. Are you freaking uh, kidding yeah, me? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> What's a... <laughs> <laughs> Image is everything, guys. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, we definitely have. Yeah, we Four definitely million, have. 500 million, 500,000, 750,000, would you say? Um, th more people than are in the world, so maybe eight, nine, ten billion. <laughs> there are some people that don't like Rod Stewart. Oh. But we all went there at once? One okay. concert? Let's go with 4.5 million. 4.5 million. I'm, I'm guessing high here. What are the points? What's this question worth? Four points. Four points. Four points. Four points. All right, ready for the answer? What the hell? Why not? All right, sure. The answer is three point five billion. Oh. And billion. Mm, Gobble me. gets it with million. four million. Only billion? by a million. Billion. Million. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 
200 beat you by 500. Yeah, because I thought Metallica's Russia event was like 1.5. Okay. Next question. Leonard Skinner has had how many members, current and past? This is worth five points. Leonard Skinner's got a lot of members, like mm-hmm. 10, 15? 15. There... I'm doing 15. Screw yeah? it. Yeah, Yeah, total. Total. Current? Yeah. Like, like in like the band rotated and, out. or yep. rotated in and out. Yep. Yeah, I'm going with 15. I'm going to go with 15 and a half. <laughs> she priced it right at his ass. <laughs> Going 1501. <laughs> we got a 12, a 22, a 50. <laughs> 15 and a half. You look like you wanted a striker. Just <laughs> what is Doctor Who? <laughs> that is not the right answer. Yep, we're, we're going to count. Sorry, Alex. That's one negative cool five points. We got a 50, Loser. a 44. 12, huh? huh? I told you not to talk. <laughs> a 30. It's just show. kidding. This show. No, what what was was the show. I brought in a second co-host, so I didn't have to talk, and oh, I right. still had. We had to le- let him go, and now I have to talk. That's all right. You sure? Yeah, it's okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. I-, I said it's cool. Okay. <laughs> the show the- must go on. Yeah, she's on the fence, but <laughs> <laughs> deciding. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> oh God. Damn. Next, I'll decide what to eat for dinner tomorrow. <laughs> Tacos. Tacos, did you stuff some in your pocket? <laughs> Pull the happy. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> All right, so the answer is Leonard Skinner has had 27 members. Wow. Holy shit. Past is and that ridiculous? No. no. I mean, it's no. not. It's not ridiculous, but it's it's pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. It's, you know, I mean. What would constitute as ridiculous? 50? Well, there's Trans Siberian Orchestra. Those fellows got a lot of people in there. It's a goddamn orchestra. <laughs> Freaking rock band, dude. And the yeah, they start with like four years. electric yeah. light orchestra. But. So if they trade out ten, bro, they're at 50. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, they're in and out. I mean, is this? I don't know the story, but is the lead singer, like, still the same dude? There's or? three original members still in the band. The lead singer died, right? Yeah. Ooh. Twice. I mean, to be fair, how many times can you do Sweet Home Alabama and Freebird? Because the whole crowd's asking, Freebird, right? Below the Bible Belt, but we don't want to hear Freebird. We just want to say Freebird. I mean, yeah, exactly. It's like, you know. And just hold our lighters up. Yeah. Like, now our phones. Yeah, but then when they play it, everyone's like, oh, shit. Well, I thought the lighters <laughs> I, were because I when forgot. they started playing, <laughs> this isn't what burn I the bitch down. <laughs> what do right. I do now? You play Freebird, I'm lighting this bitch up. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, next question is worth how many points? Wait, how many was that one worth? That one five. was five. Five. All right. I don't pay attention. Next uh, one's oh, worth. Oh, next one is going to be two points. How many number one hits has Nirvana had? <clears throat> Ten. Six. So we got Rich with ten, Amanda with six, Smitty with seven, Gobble with five, LM Dale with eleven, Love Burns with nine, and Dale with sixteen. Sixteen? Wow, that's, that's a you, lot. Yeah. I thought all. Can you of tell their... she's not familiar with Nirvana? Well, I mean, <laughs> I, I mean, thought, I thought that all ones. of their unplugged album was a hit. Every yeah. time yep. I heard it, I just kind of went like this on the radio. Right, it exactly. Was overplayed. Too, I liked it at I first, agree. but then I was like, "All right, bro." Oh. Nate from G2P says four. Matt says four. I am Casey says two. Oh. Nitas five. It's it's gonna don't, that us? don't cross the streams, man. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't know. <laughs> no, I she do know. know that. It's a god thing, bro. <laughs> Never cross streams. <laughs> uh, the, I wish answer, the answer is four. So we have four. four. Matt and Nate from GTP both nailed it. Wait, they got only four hits? No, four number four number, number one. one hits. Oh, come on, I played that. Well, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Smells like Teen Spirit should be too, right? That, that, that should be like 68 of them. That's all we heard for that six years. Worth, that was worth two points. That one was, that was worth, worth two. two. This one is worth six. How, let's do a score update. Let's bring up the last we one. We got Rich with eight. Uh-huh. Mm, Gobble with four. Love Burns with five. And Nate and Matt with two. Say I played my trump card at first. I was like eight. I got this first question. So the last one, actually, anyone can win. Anyone right. can win. The answer the, <laughs> is the, not what I'm going to give you now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> to date, how many albums has Green Day sold worldwide? A lot. 
Rita! Closest to... <laughs> <laughs> he was the closest without going over. Well, he was... Uh, <laughs> Jesus. Uh, that's... I get a 10 million. Nita Six says 10 million. Matt says 100 billion. Billion. I'm going with the billions. I'm going Zillion. With the... Trillion. What is... No, no. Six billion, right? You say six billion? Yeah, that sounds high now. Six, six billion and one. Six billion... Oh... He did that. Worst Price is Right game ever. <laughs> <laughs> right. She's that far off and it was her first I'll put, game. I'll put, <laughs> put, put, I'll, I'll put, I'll put, put 30. I'll put 5 billion on it. 5 billion. Yeah. Well, she would win if it was close, but we if got she a goes million, over. We got 100 million, a 20 million, 145 million, a 750 million, a 10 million. 10 million. I'm going with a bill. I don't understand what this is in numbers anymore. Well, is, it, is, is it platinum million? and gold and shit? Yeah, yeah like Nicole I don't really know what any of that means. Nothing, What's that? There hasn't been a platinum record in years either because no one's buying it. So yeah, d- right. Would it even count? Is it digital now? Downloads. Is that what it count? Yeah. Would it count? But you got a platinum download. But they're all singles. We don't have to buy the whole album anywhere. Yeah, we can exactly. just buy the best one or the that's, second best that's, one. That's that's where yeah. yeah. Like the uh, the second single to Vanilla Ice's <laughs> Ice Ice Baby was way better than Ice Ice Baby. God yes. <laughs> <laughs> that remix. Oh, and uh, don't forget Ninja, Ninja Rap. Rap. Of the, course, the, the, the legendary. Ready? What the hell? All right, this one was worth six points. Yep. Eighty-five million. Mm. Close. To date, <laughs> not at all close. <laughs> Worldwide, <laughs> how many were at your concert? <laughs> Green Day has sold eighty-five million whatevers. Al- not albums. Good for them. Al- <laughs> Those guys deserve it. Hell yes. Yeah. And you know, we have good listeners because they like to correct me on my scoring. Because oh. I have to keep trying to keep up. Well, Matt's first correct answer was worth eight. So, F off, Matt. <laughs> 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 Matt fucking wins with ten. Gagoosh, 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 Go, gagoosh, Matt. Yay, you gagoosh. win. All right, Matt, congratulations. You win a CD. Triangular Mechanism. What'd you call I me? I did it. You did it. It was triangular mechanism. I didn't even read it. Wow, you memorized is that it. Some pig hog I've been hogs? it for like three hours. That is no, eight that's, syllables. That's, <laughs> that's Six more than pumpkin. I'm used to. <laughs> <laughs> now I like those guys. <laughs> yeah. Who's this one? Oh, Smashing? Smashing Pumpkins, yeah. Uh, the new, the old stuff. Yo, well, whatever. <laughs> the new stuff isn't so great. All right, we're going to take a break. When we come back, we've got... Sunshine and Bullets in studio with us. We'll be talking to them. And uh, we've got, uh, what do we got coming up? we got something, a uh, new sponsor, right? We do have a new sponsor coming up. All right. Brand new. Good job. We'll be back. You're listening to Open Mic Live. Back to Open Mic Live right here on Open Mic the Show. What do you do? Something? Ah, you're silly. Uh, in the studio with us, <laughs> Sunshine and Bullets, stand like take over, and I'll fix the technical stuff. Guys, welcome very much. Thank you for coming in. I appreciate that. Oh, no. Thanks great. for having us. These guys have been on Bubba the Lust Month, and they're in our studio. Oh, yeah. yeah. Seriously. I That's like, fun. Yeah. I'm scared right now. Oh, don't, don't be scared. Don't be We're scared. not going to buy it. So anyway, there, there's three members of the band. We'll start with the most important. Kyle Wolfram, which is not here. <laughs> plays <laughs> drums. And then, and, then, and then we'll go to Amanda Hammers, which is vocals and bass, right? Mm-hmm. And then Rich Keane Jr., which is vocals and guitar. I get it. He did it from least importance. Oh. I'm pretty. Oh, see? I'm pretty. Yeah, right. he's the pretty one of the I'm band. The guitar player. Yeah. All right, so you have your talented guy and then the pretty guy. Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whatever. <laughs> I'll take pretty any day. I will, I will take pretty. So you guys actually got together in 2010, right? That's right. Who started oh. the whole thing? Me. Did you really? Yes. It was her fault. And mm-hmm. how, how'd you go about that? Well, I had been in a band with Kyle, our drummer, who's not here, Kyle. And uh, I had been in a band with Rich. Guilt tripping him. I know, right? <laughs> Working. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. And uh, I had been in both the bands with them um, separately before. And uh, when the, the band with Kyle ended, I was thinking I really wanted to continue making music. 
And uh, we just all kind of jammed together one night and we kind of improvised. In fact, I think we were playing The Mechanism. Yeah. In Kyle's living room, just kind of jamming out. And we were like, ooh, this is fun. That song's old. Yeah, yeah, it kind of is. Right. Like back when I was in high school. (laughs) 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 And I was like, hey, let's see what we can do with it. So we did it. I mean, you guys just all clicked right off from the get, right? I mean, you kind of have to, don't you, to make progress? Oh, yeah. There's definitely musical chemistry between all of us. And, of course, we all joke around with each other all the time. So that's fun. She used to hate me. I did. He still hates me, so (laughs) it'll work. (laughs) I do. (laughs) You'll be fine. But, I mean, so you you guys actually um, attempted to bring a fourth guy in a couple times, right? Yep. And they left. Mm-hmm. Was it sour? No. Nah, nah, nah. It wasn't because I mean nah. I see you guys. Keep, We're you know, friends. With we interact every, with, everywhere. with them. Yeah. With, with uh, our first chance with that was Sam, and uh, we just didn't mix as a, as a personalities. So he was like, "All right." So he, he, he went. So then we hired Chandler, and uh, Chandler. We had a lot of fun. We went all the way around, you know, the United States. Had some fun with them. We traveled with and both of them, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Chandler was with you for a year and a half, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. And uh, I guess like it didn't work for him, and then. And it didn't really took to, uh, it, it, we had a lot of fun with Chandler. Just, we couldn't seem to like, um, meet eye to eye and he didn't, he wanted to do something and on creativity ideas. Not necessarily uh, just, just that yeah. like he had another idea of where he wanted to go with it. And we're like, okay, yeah. you know, so you know, he wanted to do something, do something else. I'm like, go for it, dude. So, so kind of like know. Eric Clapton with every band he's ever been in. <laughs> 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 I got a different idea. Okay. I'm out. <laughs> um, so, who, you guys write your own music, I'm guessing. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Who, who writes the majority of the lyrics? Or do you guys all kind of equally? The first album that we took off the internet, we all wrote together. We're gonna, the reason why we took it off is because we did our second one and it sounded so much better that we're like, okay, let's, let's remix this one. Um, but we haven't returned that into the internet yet. So this, uh, the, we wrote it all together. And the second one, it was basically her and I. And then this new one, it's been like kind of heavy me, but then she has all these cool ideas that I like say, okay, let's delete some of my lyrics because those kind of suck, but right. yours are really good. Yours are good. And then we just kind of, we work, her and I work on them closely together. Who writes the music? Mostly Rich. Yeah. And you write most of the music? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Have you always been, have you always been kind of good at that? I mean, you just, it comes natural to you? I don't know about good, but yeah, I've done that. <laughs> oh, it's good. <laughs> it's, it's, it's very good. I mean, I've been listening to it and I'm, I'm telling you. Like when I say I'm, I'm listening to a playlist of you guys, it's that's not fake. Oh, I'm sitting there going like this, man. and my wife's going, she's watching Law and Order, and I'm over there going, "What the fuck is going?" <laughs> but, yeah. Do you like heavier music though? I oh, I'm a blues guy. Oh okay, okay. Heart, rock and roll. But yeah. I love I like heavy music. I like good heavy music. Okay, I don't like just obnoxious, you know, heavy to be heavy. Okay, shit, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. But I like good if it's if it punches, I like it. Cool. And. Like the y'all. new stuff, we we, we kind of went a little heavier and aggressive. And edgy. did you really mm-hmm. without without totally like going swaying from what we used to be? So right. We I will, mean, that's right. You can't go all limp biscuit yeah. on this shit. No, 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 no. I Maybe mean, the next album, you know, but this one right. <laughs> we're in between. I like, yeah. I like the heavier stuff. So. <laughs> yeah, rock and But roll. you started playing guitar when you were what? Oh, uh, seven. Is no, that, is that no. right or wrong? Um, just when I was younger. Um, I can't remember the exact. Maybe I was thirteen or so. Oh, were you? Yeah, I was just a little acoustic guitar, and I played it and um, had a lot of fun with it. I didn't actually pick up the bass until a couple years uh, before being in this band, and he actually was the one who first put a bass guitar in my hand. Oh, really? really? Yeah. She said it was easier. She pl- well, not she played the guitar like the way she played it was more like of a rhythm, like the way she holds her pick and the way she was. I was like. You ever consider playing bass? So I went and grabbed my five strings. I like, here, try this out. And she's like, I'm like, yeah, y- yeah, we're, you're going to play bass. So that's one. <laughs> and w- which one was easier for you to learn? Um, or, they're, they're both, I mean, it, it, equally pretty challenging. I, I played guitar a little bit when we had um, the other bass players, when we had Sam and Sharon learn the band. But I, I got to say, I'm a little more inspired by bass than guitar. How about you? I mean, I know you don't play bass, but... I know I'm surrounded by haters here, but anyway. (laughs) (laughs) I like it because it's easier. You don't have to make that half step up I mean, I've seen... I mean, look at Victor Wooten. Ain't shit ain't easy. I mean, let's be honest. We we all know that the drummers are the weirdos of the band. No. We all know that the the bassists are kind of like the... The Chill, laid back. And then the lead singers and lead guitarists are just arrogant. Oh. No. So <laughs> does that mean I'm laid back and arrogant? Yeah. No. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, yeah that makes sense. Yeah. 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 Right, you laid back <laughs> Hey, you're, you're getting in the way of my... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's lead guitar and... 
<laughs> I got I got a lot of things going. For Double me. dose. Yeah. When you start to write music, do you, do you guys both sing? You know, lead. When you write a song, or we start to write a song, do you write it with the intent of one of you, two of you, write singing it, or like after you write it, do you go? Ah, I think you would sound better doing this. Yeah, we we definitely like as we're doing it. Even when we go into the studio, sometimes like the, the guys we're, we're listening to them, like you know, it'd probably be better if you did that. You know, like because I'm I've got more of an intense voice, more of an angry voice, and she's got more of a soothing, but it's really pretty, you know? She can do the aggressive. Pre- on this last stuff that we took, it's like, oh, I didn't know we could do that. We should do that more often. <laughs> so then we went in for the next three, and it got even more aggressive. So we're going to be like, okay, we should do that more often. So is that decision made on based on the, the music or the, the lyrics? Uh, or both? The, it starts with the music. Is that does, what right? you're asking? Yeah, and then and then we progress into the Right, which lyrics. voice is going to go with that yeah. music better, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, mm-hmm. like what 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 melody will fit here? Like I'll be humming out the vocal melodies with the guitar melodies and stuff. Like eh, okay, and then she'll tell me it sucks. I'll be like, okay, you're right. Um, then then we'll just keep moving on until we come up with something we both agree on. And if he comes up with a really difficult, challenging guitar part, he's like, Amanda, you have to sing this. Yeah, that's right. I just can't. <laughs> it's just, oh really? Yeah. yeah and then I when we get this and that, at and, the same yeah. time. and then when we get in the studio, the producer says I should do it anyway. So I'm like, son. <laughs> 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 Take three hundred and twenty-seven. I mean, we, we I love you, Gus. We have a, a <laughs> we have a teenage band that that we've kind of been trying to keep a, in touch with called Caminar. Cool. And they're they're literally fourteen, fifteen years old. Oh, like cool. they've been doing this thing yeah. for a few years. Well, awesome. when you're that age, as opposed to um, personality conflicts, yeah. you have your parents have made you stop doing it because your grades suck. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? So their lead singer, which was awesome, they've won they've won several of the. Um, uh, Battle, Battle of the Bands the in the area. Cool. You know what I mean? So they were good. Like, he was shocked. I'm telling him they're good, and he's out there. He's going, he's calling me, dude, they're freaking, they're actually pretty goddamn <laughs> good. I'm going, I told you, dick, listen to me. No. <laughs> but, I mean, now they've gone through, once he, you know, once that lead singer had to go, they do Nirvana, I mean, they do classic rock like ACDC, Nirvana, kid, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But they've tried three different girl singers. <clears throat> oh, okay. Okay. Personality conflict. You yeah. got teenage oh. girls and teenage boys trying to well, make a band. Ooh. I was gonna say, yeah, there's always the guy like, hey, hey, right, hey, and he, you can see how that happened. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very comfortable right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I hated him for a long time. Did oh, you really? Yeah. yeah. I mean, are you guys married or single? We're 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 in a relationship together. We're Dating. Boyfriend you guys are together. together. Yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah, yeah. No, it's not complicated. No, it's simple. Yeah. What's your Facebook status? We're in relationship. a relationship. Yeah. yeah. Single in a relationship. <laughs> <laughs> I'm seeing other people. Oh. So how long have you guys actually been in a relationship? I know you've been friends for a while. Started. How long have you been actually in a relationship? Three years. Don't look at me. I don't know. Who made the first move? <laughs> it was my fault. What do you mean it was your fault? <laughs> he had to tell me we were dating. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, by the way, I, yeah, it's kind of how it happened. Yeah. We, I took her to SeaWorld, and uh, she got the I got got her the backstage pass because my best friend is an awesome person who got us uh, back there to see the dolphins and whatever. And she got to see the dolphins and pet the dolphins, and then we had fun. And then we went on a, a a date. You know, after that, we went and ate at food, and then we went and played a show. And then after that, we got home. I was like, it, you, you kind of do realize, and I didn't even realize this until today because one of our friends at the show was like, "Oh, you guys went on a little date." I'm like. We're just for oh shoot. Yep. All right, I gotta tell her. <laughs> so I told her. She goes, "What?" <laughs> oh, so you, so you I got out of go. the friend zone. So you know, you woo. didn't go in and go. Hey, you know what other mammal has sex for pleasure? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then she looks at me. She goes, "Yeah, they say this too." <laughs> 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 and next thing you know, it's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh wow. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so. It, I've come to realize that you like you describe your music as dark and heavy to peaceful and ambient. So what I'm thinking is you guys are starting a, a new genre, right? The bipolar rock. No, I'll, I'll take that bipolar right? rock. I like yeah. it. I mean, isn't that the opposite sides of the spectrum? It is. Yeah. Now, do one of you prefer one, and or do you guys both like all of that? We like so much. Go ahead. You yeah. want to say something? Oh no, I'm good. I, I'm saying I like all of it. So that's good. I'm the lead singer. Anyway, <laughs> um, <Aww. laughs> I love him. We we, we know. We know. <laughs> <laughs> we know. Um, 
we we like to uh, we like a lot so many types of music that we wanted to kind of like blend some stuff together right. and like I make some weird sounds with my guitar like all that background stuff I don't know if people notice that but that all that stuff that's going on in the background of the music that's just guitar we send it through like a big old pedal board of effects and stuff like that we make cool sounds with it in the background and then when we were working with our first producer he was like that's some Trent Reznor bullshit right there man and I was like yeah but it sounds cool right. like, yeah <laughs> so we put it all together so but it doesn't sound Trent. Reznor, you know, it doesn't no. sound that way. It sounds that, like this clean rock and roll. Trent Reznor bullshit. It's, it, I mean, <laughs> it's all the stuff. It in the, I mean, it doesn't. Yeah, come it's not electronic. That, bam, bam, clean, 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 right? Clean, you know what I mean? But it was a bunch of My filters. Just the sound, sound effects. Um, yeah. The fact that he, that we were like rerouting different pedals and turning knobs and having to adjust it as he was kind of playing Which something. Is where the atmosphere. Oh, so you had to upgrade your Casio. <laughs> 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 That's actually what I do with the show, but it's, it's, it's the opposite. Yeah. Yeah. We got the Casio fifteen buttons now. We're good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you got the hot beats. <laughs> That's right. That's right. See, you guys have traveled all over the country, right? Playing? Is that true? Mm-hmm. We haven't gone west, but you haven't gone west or left, as I call it. Well, we how far left. left have you gone? Uh, right? Alabama. Alabama. <laughs> yeah. So we haven't gone that far left. We want to go to the Texas and then uh, the California. I have family in California and Colorado and. All over the place. We just, you know, we're trying to get a new album out there so that we can go. Hey, screw it, let's go out and do this. Yeah, right. So, I mean, that's you got to do that, right? To get, yeah. yeah, it's a lot of work getting your name out there, isn't it? It's it's kind of bullshit. I mean, we've been busting but, our ass, and you two are still the only ones that know who we are. And then, well, I mean, in the nineties, like what uh, late nineties is when all of the record labels stopped like doing all of the things right. that they do for artists, yeah. and now we're yeah, now we're like, uh, so you know, you want to get signed? Sure, that'll cost you, cost us. Right. Wow. Okay. Exactly. So we're like, all right, we're just gonna kind of stick to our thing over here and just have fun with it. You well, know? you know what? In, on a positive note, at least now they're telling you it's gonna cost you. They don't just promise you a bunch of shit and take your money from you. Oh yeah. Oh, they just they the still day. do that. They still oh, they do, do that. Yeah. I they mean, it's cheaper to it. build. Like it's cheaper to make a band than it is to actually, you know, raise build one. a band. Yeah. Why, right. why have a farm when you can just, you know, go Lord in the there and G- yeah, exactly. Or right. GMO the whole damn thing. You know, like I wanted a specific style of genre of music, and I want you, all you guys to play. This guy plays guitar really good, puts it all together, and like, yeah, done. Put him on tour. Record's done. And that's exactly why I've been trying to, I've been kind of regressing to, not regressing, but I mean, I've been leaning to the local bands. Yep. Because, man, it's fresh. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's all different. Like, you know, we, we've had Red Calling in. I've gone and seen them live. Cool. They're, they're awesome. Nice. You guys, I've li- I haven't seen you live yet. We will. Soon oh, you enough, should. We'll bring some people out to see you guys. But I've listened to your music for the last goddamn week, and I can't <laughs> stop doing it. You know what I mean? Like, it, I'm getting dizzy freaking listening to it. And G2P, but it's all three different sounds. So I can just keep listening to it, and it doesn't wear me out. You know what I mean? <laughs> and that's just awesome. So I just want to keep getting more of that in here. Like, oh, Prince yeah. Fist, are you familiar with them? Yeah, they're yeah, our friends. They're going to be them. coming in. He's going to cool. be coming in in December. Oh, tell yes. them we said hey. We will. Well, it, okay. actually, it was a post of that we put up for you to promote yeah. the show that he responded to. Oh, that's cool. I went, oh, shit. Let me talk to him. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> and then he freaking, you know, he's like, hell yeah, I'll do it. If they're doing awesome. it, I'll do it. You know Sweet. what I mean? Yeah, those but, are cool guys. I I, um, I recorded a song with them and uh, sang on stage with them a couple did times. Did you really? Yeah, those, the, I love those guys. Those are great, great that's, people. That's awesome. Yeah, because awesome he seemed like, a, I mean, he seems like a lot of energy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> is he, I mean, I don't, I've never met him, but just looking at the shit that he's got out there, it's like, that guy's <laughs> ready. Our old bassist Chandler actually has his own band, so check them out. Mm-hmm. It's Polar right. Summer. Polar Summer? Polar Summer. Mm-hmm. All right, we'll post some shit. Sh- yeah, some check them out, too. That. Yeah, some sh- we can't say... You can say shit, but oh, I don't want to refer to his band and shit all in the oh, same Oh, no, thing. it's not like that. No. Right. I mean, even if they are, I don't want to say it. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, I mean, it is. You know, they, mean, they like the, they, They're good. I really like their stuff. They're, so you guys have opened for some big bands, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, Chevelle, which mm-hmm. is one of my favorite bands, mm-hmm. which everyone's, you know. Three Piece? Yeah, yeah, it's exactly. on the sheet here. It's on the sheet. Shh, don't <laughs> give away our <laughs> cheat sheet. Goo Goo Dolls. Who? Goo Goo Dolls? Oh, the singer of the Goo singer Goo Dolls. The singer of them. Yeah. Oh, is that what that was? Yeah, yeah that was I don't like... Well. Um, Smile Empty Soul, which I've seen at Livestock. Yeah. They were pretty freaking good. Mm-hmm. I think we're doing another... Yeah, we are doing another with them at acoustic? Haven. The, they're an acoustic show. Oh, really? Up in Orlando, yeah. That's awesome. That'll be fun. Um, Jane's Addiction? Oh, yeah. yeah. Right? That was oh, wild. Yeah. And... Imagine Dragons. Yep. Yep. Okay. I mean, that's just some of them. There's there's the, many of them, but the these used, are the ones that will stand yeah, on people's yeah. heads. Yeah. Now, when you guys open for these guys, like before, during, after the shows, 
Do you hang out with them for a while? No. You don't, right? Mo whilst Wait, Wait, every the, once in a while. The bands like uh like Filter, uh the bands like uh Local H, uh Helmet. Helmet. Those like like the those guys were cool. Like for example, with Imagine Dragons, they had to get the hell off the stage and go back to the the next show. You know, so it's like you know it is what it is. And and filter, they're the same way. They had to do the same thing. But they got, they were all chill, and we were on a part a big festival with them. And that was really fun down in Fort Myers. Right. And they were all just sitting in their long chairs, just like we're like, what's going on, guys? <laughs> like it's two in night. Florida. Yeah. You know? <laughs> we're like, yeah. <laughs> like, Not to interrupt that, but. The guy that won your CDs started off the night. They're telling me by saying that Sunshine and Bullets is a goddamn good band. Aww, Aww. appreciate you, brother. Yeah, that's awesome. That guy wins your CDs. I'm pumped right now. Me too. I told him to fuck off, and I take that back. Oh, Oh, you should (laughs) definitely take that back. (laughs) But I mean, without calling out another one, Mm -hmm. which which band opening for which band was like the most fun for you? Like, did you look forward to the most when you found out you were going to be doing it? Like I'm, and it's not to say that you didn't enjoy all of them. You I, know what I mean? But yeah. everyone has something that, like, we were pumped to hear you guys coming in here. You know what uh, I mean? That type of thing. I was definitely the the one down in Fort Myers with Jet Blue Park. That was my favorite. Like, ex- yeah. yeah, there were so many bands. That's the one that we had: Chevelle and uh, Jane's Addiction and all of them. Well, that's easy. Filter, yeah. yeah. That's easy. But um, and Stone Temple. The first time we opened for Filter was kind of exciting for me because um, oh, when, yeah. when I was a teenager, I wanted to go see Filter live in concert, but I just wasn't able to go. Um, I think like my friend didn't have a car that night or something. I forget the exact story. <laughs> <laughs> I was begging our friend to get us yeah. on that show because she loved them so much mm-hmm. and he helped us out. So we, yeah. it was really nice. Oh, that's awesome. awesome. Yeah. And then that was with filter local H and, uh, helmet again. Yeah. Uh, helmet. Mm-hmm. Helmet. So, yeah. yeah. You guys like helmet? Yeah. They were cool too. I, were they? Oh, hey. <laughs> What's up dog? <laughs> she let herself in. Sorry, Rich will be breaking out in hives and sneezing any minute now. <laughs> no, I just need an EpiPen. No. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, five million dollars. Like five hundred. Yeah, yeah, five million dollars. <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute, y'all, y'all love Ninja Turtles. You oh, both yeah. need EpiPens. Oh, I don't <laughs> need one. I She's just seven hundred dollars. Yeah, <laughs> they're ridiculous. Whoa, they're ridiculous right yeah. now. Wow. Ridiculous. I feel bad. Our old bass player, he was allergic to an- ants, and he had to carry an EpiPen around. And I'm like, oh shit. And they expire. Yeah. It's not like that yeah. can last no, for two no. years. That yeah. expires in like three months. Yeah. What's the biggest venue you guys have played? I mean, I, obviously not literally. I, well, I there's was, there's like what Vinoy Park, right? But that's you know, not, I, I don't know if that's a venue. Um, and then there was like Jet Blue Park, but that, that would be the biggest one. Yeah, you know, what about the Fort Myers downtown. Well, there's then when there was Zombie Con, but that was the biggest crowd. That was fifteen thousand people that we played in front of, and that is, was scary. Is shit. that culture shock? It was cool. <laughs> right, <laughs> that was scary cool. I right. looked at I like I looked at Kyle as he was loading, playing, getting ready to start to play, and he was like taking pictures. He's like, "Holy shit, dude!" And I looked at him, and I was like, "That's a lot of fucking people." And they were all dressed as zombies. And there, at one point, there was a little bit of a pit, like in the middle of the road, because this is down. Downtown Fort Myers, yeah. where they just block off the road. City streets. And when you see a pit and you see fake blood, you're wondering <laughs> if it's actually real or not. And it, it was kind of like a trippy moment for so me. You like, got the show. Wait, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, and that, we started playing, and I was just like, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> I just got to wonder how slow moving a zombie mosh pit is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, boom. They just start unraveling as they're going out there. And everyone just kind of flops on the floor. <laughs> Done. We've, we've had a couple pits before, but they're usually oh, yeah. the nicer pits. Not The people where if you fall down, they help you back up. <laughs> as opposed to the, I'm going to punch you in the face and then right, kick this right. other guy. In the- we did recently have one up at the Haven Lounge, which was really crazy. And <laughs> I was like, you know, I don't, I, I support the pit thing, but y'all kind of watch out for those bar stools. Yeah, just and, be nice. Yeah. <laughs> I really wish I could come up with the damn name of the band. They they were really big in the uh, early 2000s, but we went and we saw them at Livestock. Mm-hmm. And the mosh pit, I'm okay with you helping each other up. Yeah. But please don't start hugging in the middle of the fucking mosh pit. <laughs> yeah, no, no, and, that's I mean, dumb. literally, there's like these big rednecks, you know, and like they're my, next to oh, another. Wow. Me and my wife are going, are you fucking serious right uh, now? Well, like, I just wanted to run out there and just go, boom, you know. Wow. I mean, have you ever have you ever just looked out in the mosh pit and went, are you serious? No, not yet. We yeah. haven't had that experience. Really? So I haven't well, seen not while you're playing yeah. because you weren't no, the oh, fuck I, I was watching. Like when I'm when I'm playing, I I try and look for people and I'll notice that crap's going on, but I'll be like, I don't I got got a right. step on I gotta step on this mm-hmm. shit. I gotta turn that off. Okay. Then I got lyrics. Oh you know, just keep <laughs> going with that. And then everyone's looking at me, Oh yeah, I'm supposed to sing here. <laughs> 
<laughs> you ever forgot your lyrics on the stage? Ever... Oh, I've done that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Does that happen I repeat them. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I start singing the wrong song. <laughs> One time she was sick and she, like, like sang the initial. You, you've heard go, like, they yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, she was sick and you hear, <laughs> and that stopped me and Kyle in our tracks. And we I just looked at her and I just thought to myself, old man, <laughs> I was like, wow. He's like, your, oh. your guitar is supposed to be bass, not your voice. Yeah. <laughs> oh, holy shit. It was pretty low, yeah. Yeah. Was it really? Oh, yeah. I was like, it's sick, already. You, just, you feel no. like hell. When you sound like hell, you just want to, yeah. <laughs> But you do it, right? I mean, you follow through. You got to. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hell, yeah. It was I mean, just a little bit lower. I've been, I've been sick, and so I, I just scream, so fuck it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just, let's just do help, it. Somebody help. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. yeah. Just hacking. Up. I don't. I don't like hack up on anybody, but I'll like turn around. You may not know it, but something goes somewhere, and it's usually on my sleeve, and that's why we need different shirts. <laughs> <laughs> they have a wardrobe just for yep. that. Yeah, I haven't been sick in a while, so all your hugs they haven't been ill, Ill covered with grossness. Oh, saliva. So. She just told, saliva. She, she just told me it was saliva. That oh, they, cool. oh, oh, yeah, they, saliva. It sounds like I don't like saliva, but they did not create a very good mosh pit. Negative. That was where the hugging went. On. Really? Oh, yeah. Wow. I mean, I love Saliva's music. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. It just yeah. ha- that happened to be. Yeah. She just reminded me. And now I was I feel thinking bad for Breaking it Benjamin. Oh, you don't care for Breaking Benjamin? No, I like them. Oh, no, no, no. I thought that. that I thought pit. that was the. Yeah. Band. Oh yeah. No, I don't even no. picture them having a. Mosh no, they, pit. they're kind of like. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Yeah, he speaks to my soul. Too cool for school. Yeah. Right. I will say, I saw them live, and Breaking Benjamin did an awesome cover of Aerosmith's uh, Dream On, and I was just like, all right, all right, what, what's going on here, fellas? This was good. Have you guys ever done a cover? Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, after you started writing your own songs, you, is no. there a cover that you love to do and enjoy playing? Yep. Mm-hmm. What is it? In the Air Tonight by Phil Collins. That's so goddamn. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah. Because and we, we meddle it up a little bit. It's all soft in the beginning and tri- kind of trippy. I make all the cool sound effects for guitar to kind of synth it a little bit. Mm-hmm. And then it gets, and then it just, we get to that, doom, 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 and then we double it up and it's just chunking Is on the guitars. Is there a it? I uh, wouldn't exactly, it's all it, cell it's, phone stuff thus far. We're going to do it in the studio. Are you really? Yeah. <gasps> Dude, that'd be badass. Shh. We gotta get permission. Did I didn't even try to suck that shit out of him. They yep. did it. We're gonna get that permission. Yeah, we haven't asked them yet. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Somebody so, does I mean, it you, for us. You, it's not like a... You've done snippets of... <laughs> no, we've done, we've, done, we've done it live. Yeah, right. we love oh, it. Oh, have you really? Oh, yeah. Many yeah times. So you can do it live, you just can't record it. Yeah, what's the rule on that? Because I hear all the time where like Taylor Swift did in this mm-hmm. song or John Mayer did in that song. They have ex- really good lawyers. Um, we <laughs> <laughs> and a big funny. back pocket. Uh, mm-hmm. But I, I uh, like with us, we can actually submit through like our thing with distribution yeah whatever it is and they'll seek out the people to get how much they want for it if it's just it's usually just a percentage of what we make off the song which it's like go ahead boys go ahead and cover it and we're cool um whatever good luck right? you're, <laughs> like how would they mark that at the venue oh they wouldn't mark the it venue's at the venue a little bit different that's more like you have to pay royal what is it fees just to flat out. bmi flat and deal. all that ASCAP and bmi they come yeah. around with their little um uh, <laughs> Yeah. Trying to PMI think of a think of a better word for Nazis. Um, <laughs> narks. I like that one. <laughs> hey, little narks walking around going, hey, that band did a cover band. You're going to charge you $5 million. Go ahead and write it down. Okay, I'm going to talk to you in the soon a little bit. Send you a ticket. You know, that's how it goes. So it's kind of. Like you stuck with a le- word that started with an N and only had four letters. That's yeah. perfect, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm proud of you right yeah. now. I like narks. Yeah, that little sorry Nazis bastards. Nazis are like narks. <laughs> like, you can't get a, a cu- band's covering your song. It's not even like, like a jukebox in your dang house. Two- Box hero. hero. Sorry, I love that song. We're not paying royalties. Do you really? No, no, you're not. I love, I love oh, that I love song. That at, uh, when I saw them sing that, that was awesome performance. I, I uh, oh, her and I are in talks with a friend of our band, uh, Nine Mile Drive. If you want to check them out, we're in the talks with half of their band and half of our band, which is still like two thirds. Well, half of your band. <laughs> we don't we don't do good on fractions. How do you split three and half? We're talking about like coming together and doing a cover of that, like for one or a couple of shows. So anytime we play together, we'll like bring half their band on. And we'll do it with them, or right. vice versa, just for just the the, the shits and giggles of it, because we love be that cool, song. Because I mean, you guys got your fans that come to your show; they got their fans that come to the show. Oh, so yeah. that just pumps the whole goddamn mm-hmm. crowd up. Right? Oh yeah, yeah. And, I mean, and they're from Fort Myers, so like when we they come to Tampa or they we go over there, we just kind of like do the swippy swappy deal, and it's great. So it, we all have a lot of fun. It, it stays on the stage, right? The swippy swappy. That's shit. that's why Sometimes. the drummer isn't here. He's swippy swappy. <laughs> Or recovering from a swippy swap. He Whatever. works till 10, you said, right? Whatever. They make penicillin. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's in an EpiPen. Right. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Happy selling. We got this. Oh my god, what is wrong with you? I'm I'm fun. I'm Metallica. <laughs> yes, you are fun. This is this is everything I expected it to be, dude. You guys are a blast. I mean, I could tell this from our conversations before this. I'm telling them, I'm going, dude, these guys are freaking awesome. We're, Seriously. We're, we're fun to hang out I mean, with. I didn't know whether she was going to be a blonde or a brunette when you came in. <laughs> but I've been thinking about red again, too. Have so. you? Don't you He doesn't dare. want me to. No, he there can, there's no. gingers. It's like the Highlander. There can only I'm be one. You. Yeah. No, I'm, I like the darker. I don't, I'm not into blondes or gingers. I prefer the brunettes. I'm cool with that. Yeah. Yeah, I Absolutely. like brunettes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gingers. But... <laughs> Well, this is Sunshine and Bullets that we've been talking with, and uh, we will be talking with you again. Coming up next is Stanley Feud, which is my version of Family Feud. I make up questions. I pull 45 people, and then I give you the top five answers. Cool. And you get to guess and figure out which of those they pick. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. We'll be back. Yeah, let's roll with Mike live. Buy those tacos. Extra fat real men <laughs> and you guaranteed to satisfy. Once you get a load of extra fat dicks, your mouth will never be the same. Now when I eat a hard salami sandwich, I always get a mouthful of extra fat dicks. We know you want your dicks to be fatter because your waist size just doesn't matter. My mother prefers dicks, and after just one swallow, yours will too. So let your friends and family know you care by telling them to eat dicks. Dicks Real Mayonnaise is a proud sponsor of the Open Mic Live Show. I want to thank Tacos Gone Mobile for the unbelievable food they were kind enough to give us. Tacos Gone Mobile now has a second location in the University Mall food court, as well as 1309 East Fletcher Avenue. If you love authentic Mexican food, then you have to stop in and enjoy the best Tampa has to offer. Not only is the food authentic, but the staff is as well. So to satisfy your Mexican cravings, go to Tacos Gone Mobile at 1309 East Fletcher Avenue or the University Mall food court. Gracias, Taco Iro Movil, para darnos comida increíble. This is Cam Bertrand. You're listening to Open Mic Live. Welcome back to Open Mic Live right here on OpenMicTheShow.com, IRNBroadcast.com, and everywhere else we are on the internet. Shall we play a game? It's now time for Open Mike's favorite game, Stanley Feud. Woo! <laughs> As most of you know, Stanley Feud is my version of Family Feud. I make up questions and I pull my friends and people that aren't my friends but happen to be on my Facebook. So <laughs> this week, it's, it's the top five out of 42 people polled. So I got 42 answers back and you wow. get the top five answers out of that. Cool. Um... The number one answer is worth five points. All others are worth one. Are we ready? Ready. Question number one. Which of the seven dwarves best describes your spouse? Bitchy. Oh. I'm going to say gre- grumpy or sleepy. I'm going to say grumpy. Not, 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 no, not, uh, not, no. What people no, say. No, other people. Oh, yeah. I think people are saying I think most. people think grumpy. that their spouses are grumpy. Can they make one up? Because I'm going to say, like, lazy or... <laughs> I mean, you can make up whatever you want, bro. I'm going with the uh, the dopey. Ooh. Not many people marry doctors, so I'm not gonna I'm doctor. not gonna say doc. <laughs> <laughs> I know my wife didn't. Plus, women are doctors, right? <laughs> women are doctors? No, they're not doctors. I don't think we can be doctors, no. right? No. no, no, it's Why illegal. Yeah, they took that away from us. Right. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> they might. <laughs> Look, watching out for Facebook. <laughs> so we got a bunch of dopeys on the board. We got um, some... Actually, there's only one other grumpy oh. and a few sleepies. Sleepy. That's, that's my wife. <laughs> Was there a sleepy? Was there a sleepy? I don't remember. Yeah. You were sleeping. Bashful. I know that one. What do you mean? Bashful was one. That's what I mean. Oh, really? Dopey Doc Bashful. Was there a Bashful? Stupid ass. <laughs> <laughs> so we got Rich said Grumpy. Grumpy. Man says Grumpy. We got Dopey Dopey. Sleepy Dopey. Sleepy Sleepy Grumpy. And you know what's funny is these questions happen to be ones that I've used like about a year ago. I went back to the archives. Yeah. And... The top five answers for all these questions are different than they were back then. then. I wow. swear, I'll let it, dude, it's hilarious. <laughs> all right, nine people said grumpy. Nine also said dopey. See, I forgot. Oh, cool. Eight said sleepy. 
Three said happy, and three said sneezy. That's a one. That's one. I know it's one, but who describes their freaking spouse as sleepy, really? Oh. Or sne- sneezy? Or sneezy is what I meant, yeah. So uh, who really describes their spouse as a dwarf? They don't like My that. wife. They say little people now. <laughs> that's, that's, that's little people tossing. I don't know anymore. All right, number two. Who is your favorite dead musician? Like ours or like no, in general? What do you think people are going to say? I'm thinking Kurt people Cobain. are going to say Bob Marley. Oh, Bob Marley. Kurt or answer. Michael J. Ja- oh, there's so many. That's a great answer. Ooh, I'm going to say Bob Marley. Yeah, 2016 yeah. alone. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. Um, Elvis. We got, a, we got a Hendrix, Elvis, Hendrix. Can I say the Beatles? Bar- Bar- Barb Marley? Marley? The Barleys. The Barleys? <laughs> Bob Marley. Bob Marley. I- I'm going to go with Kurt Cobain. Kurt Cobain? I don't know. Hmm. That's that's a tough one. There's Prince. Prince. Pr- I'm going with Prince because my aunt Sandy's gonna say Prince if she's voting. I'd say Prince. Yeah. God, I mean, I literally was almost in tears when I found out oh. that guy died. I mean, yeah. I didn't realize how much I loved him until I found out he was gone. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I mean, because I've always respected him, and he's. A, I mean, come on. If you're yeah. a musician, yeah, he yeah. Played 27 goddamn instruments. He, so he, got he, to he kept it low it. key, you know. Yeah. 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 He did. Because he was high. He was. He didn't do drugs. He did him low key, though. Yeah. 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 Well, that's, well, that's why he was low key. Yeah. <laughs> you got to respect the bitch yeah. that does him low key. You're really, well, it took two weeks before everyone was like, well, he did pills? Yeah. What? What? Yeah, I did my what? shows. I went no deed. Six people said John Lennon. Six said oh, yeah. Michael Jackson. Five said Prince. Four said Kurt Cobain. And two said Dimebag Daryl. Huh? Now, Shoot. my heart was a little hurt when I saw Michael Jackson ahead of freaking Prince on this goddamn poll. I wanted to smack people. I originally said the Beatles. That counts. I mean, he was the king of pop. You got to give yeah. him. Dude put, what was that one guy that put all the people in the stadium? 1.5 million, 3.5 million. Oh, Rod Stewart. Yeah. No, uh, My, he, well, he beat Rod Michael, Stewart. and that's, you know, I mean, come on. That's you know, poor Prince. <laughs> poor Prince. He must have got up there and be like, come on. <laughs> you know? I do that. I'm, yeah. I can't believe no one said Elvis, to be honest with you. Yeah. Well. I mean, just because that seems to be a name that would pop into somebody's head, right? You know what I mean? Johnny All right, Cash. number three. Where did you lose your virginity? When in, or where? Where? Oh, where? Where did you lose your virginity? In bed. Bed on a dresser. I have car. I have was your bed a car on a dresser? Um, <laughs> on a dresser. My bed yeah. was the dresser. I flipped my bed upside down and just threw my clothes on top. That's pretty badass. Wow. And then I threw the comforter over, so I was like a little four. Uh, so and the, so the clothes were also your comforter. It was insulation, correct? That's, I put the answers out there. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say bed. Good job because that was number. One. I just put the that answers out there. That should have been number one answer. We all get five points. We can't see the answers, so yeah, yeah I know, can. but yeah, yeah, we're no. not cheating. Everyone gets five points for this. Let me see those answers over here. Oh, <laughs> that no. happens every now and then. He Damn it, man. <sighs> I'm professional. Fuck y'all. Ah. All right. Next question. So I'm going to tell you the answers anyway. Nine people said my bed. Eight said back seat. Seven said parents' bed. Seven said at a party. And four said couch or living room. None of that matters, and it's very anticlimactic because I'm pissed off right now. All right. Number four. The name climax was you before that. Name, <laughs> <laughs> name somewhere you wouldn't want to be during a rainstorm. Riding a motorcycle. But I don't think that's going to be an answer. That's the worst place to be. And the number one answer this time, I did not get one of the last time I asked this fucking question. Oh. That's a, and I'm outside. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Um, Cooking bacon. Matt says outside. Airplane. Cooking bacon. That's. I wouldn't want to be outside when it's raining when I'm cooking bacon. <laughs> Gobble says in a boat. The bacon's inside. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Or on the grill. We got a boat. Cooking. Oh, on a boat. Nita says on a power pole. Golf. It's not bad. Golf, Golf yeah. is great. Plane? Ooh, football You're above game. the rain in a plane. What about being a lineman? Swimming pool is good. A lineman. Yeah, yeah. running uh, power poles. Yeah, that's yeah. Ooh. Oh, okay. There you go. That was an answer. Well, what, the last two uh, NFL home games football were delayed game. because yeah. of the rain and the lightning. Football game. Yeah, but when you when your home games are the Bucks, you don't stay for the rain. No. No, I, I, don't I went and watched a movie and then I thought the game was over and I come back and I watched the end of the game. <laughs> Just enough for them to lose. Oh. Man, that, these are all great answers. Unfortunately, only one of them is on the board. <laughs> Eight people said outside. Oh, come on. Seven said boat. Seven said driving. Five said a concert. And four people said a beach. 
Fuck that. Outside in the concert with rain? That's badass. Come on, there's that's mud. That's what I'm talking yeah, about. Fun. Woodstock. Mm-hmm. Or livestock. I've never been to Woodstock. <laughs> I, I would do a mic drop, but these aren't mine, so... And he wouldn't like you it if I drop dropped like them. Anytime I don't you want to do that to him. <laughs> you have my permission. We need to uh, drop that one. <laughs> oh, he's fun. We're all all fun. right, quick points update. We have Amanda with ten, Rich with six, LM with eleven, mm, Gabo with eleven, Smitty with seven, Mike with eleven, Nitas with seven, KC with six, Matt with fifteen. This last one, the number one answer is worth ten. All others are worth five. I have a feeling we're going to need tiebreaker. Did I already hit the... No. Shit. Did you? Did yep. You Name a phrase with the word fuck in it. Every phrase ever can have the word fuck in it. This they is true, but one. you need the number one. But is it an <laughs> adjective? Is it a verb? It's or a is phrase. It's all of that. Oh. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck yeah. off. Fuck you. Fuck her. Fuck him. Fuck him. Name a phrase with the word fuck in it. So yeah. Nitas will fuck you. Yeah. What the fuck? Hide, why don't you go to play a game of hide and go fuck yourself? <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. Yeah. Matt says fuck you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> mm, Gobble Tyler. says fuck it. F off. Um, Dale says fuck off. F- fuck you. F off. Fucked up. Ooh. When did Amanda become Nicole? We Nicole. got another fuck off. I'm not sure which Amanda. Hey. I'm still Amanda. Okay. You are Amanda. Maybe Nicole became Amanda. Huh. Maybe it was always Nicole. Mm. I'm so freaked out right now. I don't even know what to do. I'm very confused. Finkley's Welcome to the open mic live show. <laughs> yeah, three years. Three years. You can just now tell me it's Nicole. Yep. I've been calling you Amanda for so long. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I'm are mean. we ready? I'm mean. Let's do this I, thing. I love you for you. <laughs> This is unbelievable. <laughs> Ten people said, what the what fuck? What the fuck? Six said, fuck you. Six said, fuck it. Six said, shut the fuck up. The and one door. said, I want to fuck you like an animal. Oh. Ah. So when there's plenty of ones and there's only, you know, like I have to pick one of them, yeah. I just pick one. Oh, okay. So there's a shit ton of one, uh, yeah. one bangers out there. I mean, yeah. there's a lot. Like you said, yeah. everything ends, you know, has yeah. fuck in it. Yeah. Absolutely. And but it possibility, anyway. So here's the problem. Yep, we got a tiebreaker. Ooh. We do? Tiebreaker. I don't know. No. Oh, I know what the problem is. It's not a problem. Matt won again yeah. with 20 points. You get two CDs, yay. <laughs> <laughs> in case that's, one explodes in your computer, that's, you'll have that's another one. The job. Give one to your friend. <laughs> <laughs> Join us. <laughs> Join us. <laughs> so what do we do? Matt has to pick somebody to receive the other CD. I'm not giving him two. I told you. You're there, I'll pick somebody. Uh, You're there, I'll buy ten of them and give them to every fucking buddy. Matt, pi- <laughs> join us. Matt, do whatever you want. <laughs> <they're all laughs> it, it, it's working. This is the Oprah of Sunshine. <laughs> I'm giving forwards. him my last freaking 80 bucks for ten. <laughs> I need five CDs now. <laughs> <laughs> Matt won and then he just failed. You get a CD. Oh, <laughs> bye, Matt. Come on, join us, Matt. Where did you go, homie? Where did you go, homie? He's got one friend, Aww. so they can both just sit around and listen to the same goddamn CD right, they can over just and over. The headphones now. It's okay. It is you, okay, you isn't it? You can do this, right? Oh, that's so sweet. That was a Kodak. It was. Did I just? Uh, yeah, you caught right. it too. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Now we'll screenshot that and save it. So we're waiting for Matt to pick somebody, or we're about to kill some- what? Matt says Tiff. Tiff. So we're about Tiff? to kill some. <laughs> Ooh, what the? <laughs> what <fuck>? happened? <laughs> <laughs> Escalated quickly. Uh, seriously, who we do, what, what's going on? <laughs> it, it, it doesn't really matter. So anyway, all right. Well, th- that's Stanley Feud. So cool. Mean, that's fun. It, some of it was anticlimactic because I fucked it up in the middle, but no big deal. What the hell? It's a podcast. It's yeah, not a radio the middle show. screwed the end up. Everybody wins. Everybody does win. You guys are here. Yeah, Give me a Oprah. CD. Are you kidding me? Oh. They get to see Amanda. <laughs> <laughs> winner, oh, winner. But I'm the lead singer. So. You're there too. <laughs> You're the pretty one. <laughs> I'll just hide behind you. And it's flipped, so you're on the right side or left side. <laughs> Oprah Stanfrey. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Oprah, you get a CD. Oprah you get a oh. CD. Everybody gets a CD. You got to look under your chairs, fellas. What? Oh! No, the it's audience. A car. Oh. I thought it was a clown. There's a car under there. 
in the car. Yeah. When we'll fit in. We'll, we'll all be jokes on us. He, the thing blows up in our in the room and we're all dead. <laughs> I was running out of it. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be like a Samsung 7. <laughs> this is oh, oh, so it just blew up. <laughs> oh, fuck. oh, man. I can't hear you. Yeah. Anyway, so we've been, we've been doing this thing we've been trying out with uh, the, the feud review. So I'll take a couple of the questions and talk to you guys and us, you know. Cool. And the one I'm going to pick this time is outside venues. You know, where would you not like to be caught in the rain? And you guys actually respond- responded to what I had in mind, is a concert. Have you performed in the rain before, right? Yes. I yes. mean, like Prince style at the Super Bowl? I mean, that type of <laughs> rain? <laughs> uh just no, like, more like it just, wasn't purple. just hurry, uh, let's let the song be over so we don't ruin our equipment in the rain. That's what I was going to yeah, ask. It wasn't it, covered. That's a genuine concern, right? When was this? Uh, Rackham's. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah when, it's, when it's raining on your gear, you kind of get a little bit freaked out that A, you're going to die, and B, your equipment's going to die. So That's so hilarious. I do the scary. same thing. I'm like, if I need an answer that we were both there for. Yeah. But, what just happened? <laughs> yeah, no, I always ask her. They they were really cool. They threw all their tarps on. We were like, all right, thanks. Oh, that saved us. They, oh, it's got to be playing hard playing guitar. Oh, we weren't playing. No, we started like it started yeah. to rain, and they all threw their tarps on our really expensive pedal boards and That's stuff. So we're like, awesome. yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. so they were ready for it. Oh yeah, yeah. I didn't care about the amps. Those are crap. The act but, of playing <laughs> in the rain wasn't a problem. Amps, that was so. kind of fun, but it was just really the equipment. And am I gonna get shocked? You Is weren't it? gonna get shocked. No? No. Okay. Oh, he had you covered. Mm. I got this. It <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I got right, this. I mean, because le- really, the lead singer is the only one not in danger during a rainstorm, right? No, I'm never in danger. Did you have that to send that to me? What is this? That's, the That's email. an email address. So you, you didn't get it? I didn't get it. Oh, lame. Hold on. Uh, you said Samsung 7. It reminded me of that. Anyway, oh. we're, we're, he's, uh, he's going to send me a new song that we can play during the break uh, if it gets here in time. No, hey. Hurry. Has there ever been a concert that you were in the middle of and, like, something happened that, like, just kind of, like, made you pause? Yes, multiple times, but I'm going to tell you. There was this one when it rained. <laughs> <laughs> Blame it on we the rain. Shit. <laughs> well, um, I, Rich has plenty of stories with this, but I've got one in particular that I like. Uh, there was one time where, actually, Christy, if you're, if you're listening right now, um, you might remember this. We played at a, a nudist place once are you serious mm-hmm. locally mm-hmm. Yeah. nice yep and uh it was a really fun concert there was a lot of great people we met and talked to and uh kept the eyes up and uh but when we were playing a song i look at my guitar and i look at my bass i'm sorry and i look at my frets and i look at my hands so on the way back up sometimes i did catch things that i really didn't want to see people were jumping around dancing and i completely lost uh, my lyrics so it was um it, it, right, so, right. It was interesting. She so never forgets her lyrics, but she did that day. It's not I a mosh pit, right? It's a mush pit. Mush pit. <laughs> it's a windmill. Woo! <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> they play it behind their back. I learned on that day that when you're talking to someone who's a nudist, you look like this. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> right. And you do not look down. Mm-mm. Because you're 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 really trying just to try and not look down. Oh, and so. it was a foam party too. I know there there were attractive were, women there. Yeah, there were there, there were, sure were, and there were a lot of dudes. That, oh, that was a funny story. <laughs> <laughs> so we're 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 done, right? We're done, and um, you know we're unloading the stuff. And one guy goes, "Hey, can, can I play your guitar?" And I'm like, "Well, you're already he was sitting there playing my guitar. Do you care <laughs> if I play guitar?" And I'm and I'm like. Well, uh, uh, I guess we're kind of past that, but <laughs> he, and he, and then he's like, you know, kind of strumming it and, and he picks up the, 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 wireless little thing and he goes, Hey, what's this man? I was like, that's a wireless. You put that in your pocket. <laughs> Don't put it in your pocket. <laughs> and, he, and he's like, all right, man. Well, thanks for letting me play. I'm like, ah, uh, yeah, cool. That's <laughs> something. Put that back in the case. Do you people do euphemism. that? Huh? Does that happen often where people like just want to come and touch Never. your equipment? It's rare. rare but it, right? Every once in a while it'll happen. They're like, you know, hey, can I play them? Like, why? What, what is this? What, what, right. What do you got to prove? <laughs> like, it, you really don't want to get a tetanus shot. Don't play my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not kidding. It has no, a lot of rust on it. My sweat is so like acidic or something yeah. goofy. It, like I have my pickups are rusted. Everything's rust. Strings. I get only last a show now. I don't know what happened. I started eating more garlic. We have a lot of comics in here, as well as bands, and like you know hecklers. Yeah, it, and that's what I related the same thing to is like you know yeah. people that rush the stage. Yeah, that's basically a heckler for a band, right? I don't mind the people rushing the stage. You it's, don't? It's the um, uh, throwing stuff. The 
I'll work with that. I've done that too. <laughs> like water like, bottle, I'll be like, oh hey, throw it back at him. You know, it's, thirsty, it's, yeah, it's not a big right, deal. Exactly. <laughs> and uh, but the, the ones that really get me are when we after the show, and um, not the people that are like, oh, yeah, I love your music. It's the ones that are like, you know, your guitar tone really needs a lot of adjustment. <laughs> I'm like, I. Uh, Thanks, man. So a guy listening to I'll music is about to it. tell the guy playing the music how to play the music. Yeah, yeah, yeah it happens. Now, we have friends that will say, yeah, kind of, we're a little, and I'm like, oh, my bad, and I need to fix that. But little you want them yeah, to yeah, do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're freaking friends. They're not some but, drunk but, idiot. That yeah. Is, right? <laughs> you know, her voice is way prettier than yours, and I'm looking at her, and I look at him, I'm like, let's put that together. Do you guys do that with other bands? What? Like, like kind of um, subtly Cross go, critique? Yeah, I mean, not critique, but I mean, like, you know, give your opinions we're, to each other. We're open to hearing it from, from other bands, and when they're our friends, it's good. But sometimes it can be tough to come up to somebody and, and, and give them any kind of critique because when they're our friends, you like them no matter what. It's almost like having, you know, if you have children or friends, you like everything they do. So it's almost kind of hard to see the negative and that kind of stuff. So it's like, yeah, I loved it. And then you might even be blind to some of the spots that they that they have so it's kind of hard to even think of that for me i don't <clears throat> I, say, I i don't i can't criticize art like cuz yeah. to me like they're like oh well, you know, what did you think of it i'm like oh, i liked it i enjoyed it it was great it was you know good art stuff yeah. but sometimes uh you know if someone actually legitimately like is there anything i could change i'm having well, i would definitely tell them like oh i have an idea try it you know and you'll be but, honest right i mean yeah. you'll be you'll be i won't be like dude that sucks no no i'll be, be like a dick, but i mean you're going to be this and this yeah honest. Like, i mean personally i know i probably should go get some vocal training whatever you know i scream but i mean what what do i need vocal training for i'm yelling at shit so i mean this doesn't really need it but i'm on pitch most of right. the time but you know, you I, you say you say yeah, say yourself. yeah, we, I, I am the lead singer, so I, <laughs> <laughs> I know, yeah, I, I um, and yes, everyone yeah, else I, is off. Yeah. <laughs> so what, what about your guitar, guitar Rich? Uh, <laughs> my wife is the lead singer of our relationship because she knows everything. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> right, right, <laughs> right. <laughs> but I mean, have you ever had a song where you thought it sucked, but other people happened to hear it and went? That shit was badass. Yeah. 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 You have, right? Yeah. yeah. Do you, do you, we're not going to say that? which one. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're totally fine yeah. with it. Mm-hmm. Like, I, there's, I mean, do you stop playing it anyway? With it? No, no, no. We, we play it with, um, we, we start to like it because it gets people going. We're like, you know, I kind of like it. Like, we're right. working with our producer right now. He'll, uh, he'll say, what if, what if you do this or what if you do that? And I'm like, oh, I don't really like it. And then sometimes we'll come back to the studio and we're like, can we change it? Yeah. Yeah, I, I like that idea. Let's change it. And but like when we're doing it, I think to myself openly, like, you know, I I could probably write the same song over and over again and not know the difference because it's in a different key. Right. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and try that. That's a cool little rhythm deal. Let's just do that. I'm open to that. Yeah, I'm okay with it. You and know, see, but. that that it relates to a lot of different type of entertainment things. Like for us, you know, when we when I first started listening to our own show, like. Very heavily critiqued it, you know what yeah, I mean? Like, yeah. Oh, you hate yourself! I, oh my I, God. Was, yeah. I was listening to it from my side, mm-hmm. and then once you learn to listen to it from the other side, it's much easier to understand. You know what I mean? Like it's like I'm listening to it as a listener as opposed to the guy behind the microphone. Because at first you're like, "Damn, I could have done it." So I would ask people, "Well, it's hard to get people to be honest. Mm-hmm. It really is. I mean, they want to be nice. They don't want to hurt your feelings." Well, I can't get better if you're not honest with me. Mm-hmm. You know I, what I mean? I am so hard on myself. I look in the mirror and go rage on myself. I Do mean, you really? Like, I mean, not really look I mean, in like the mirror. Like, right type of shit? Like, I mean, I mean, we'll watch videos, and I'm like, let's not release that. No, I look fat in that <laughs> That video. was not a good... Okay, we're going to go there. Um, <laughs> I used to weigh a lot more. Um, I did go on a big diet, and then I got happy. And I'm not blaming her, but I am very happy, right? We eat a lot of burritos. I'm very happy, right? And yeah, ice cream. Right, yeah. We eat a lot of burritos. <laughs> <laughs> we do. I yes. We have some burritos tonight, right? Tacos. Or tacos so tonight. Delicious. How were they? Tacos. Oh my god. Uh, I I'm I'm kind of sneaking back and forth between breaks, eating more and more. There won't be any left to put in our pockets. I, I used I used to be a lot larger again, <laughs> <laughs> and tacos are kind of my problem. <laughs> So that we will be visiting that place a lot. We got there from Tacos Gone Mobile, and it's a good friend of mine. And you know, we we bring in food from there every now and then. He's got a little truck that he started in, and now he actually has a spot in the mall. I, I in the food court. Cool. Which one? In the University Mall. Okay, cool. Okay. You know what I mean? We're gonna go there. I'm, yeah. I'm serious. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. You should go there. All my friends listening, you should go there. In the yeah, area, mm-hmm. I'm glad area, you guys but... enjoyed them. Seriously. No, no, those yeah. are really good. Yeah, I mean, if there were any left, you could put them in your pocket and go. Yeah. Well, no. There won't no. be. Any left. <laughs> 
Like that fella with my guitar thing, not in that pocket. <laughs> we don't want it in that pocket. <laughs> Can I play your guitar? Is that a euphemism? I don't understand what that. Uh, his butt crack. Uh, no, that's that's what is that stuffing or yeah. what, are they, what are they do in prison? They. Uh, oh. <laughs> I don't want to know. It's the wrong hole. No, <laughs> no it, stuff comes out of that. Well, I mean, I guess it is what it is. You like what you like. Clinchy. You, you go in there. Wow. Clinch face. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you say, oh, those fellas, they sit up right often. Well, yeah. They scream a lot. No. <laughs> well, we're going to go to break, I guess. Beastie yeah. boys. We're ready. All right, when we come back, we are going to talk about Floridians. That's right. You're oh. listening to Open Mic Live with Sunshine and Bullets. Right here on OpenMikeTheShow.com. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, this is Jared Waters, and you're rocking with the best live internet show, Open Mic Live. Best in the Bay. All right, welcome back to Open Mic Live right here on openmiketheshow.com. It is now time for... All right, 
Thanks, Dan. What's going on in the world of the Florida man? All right. Very good. The first story comes from Fort Lauderdale. On October 5th, a guy took off with two 40-inch Hisense TVs, which Hisense is an actual brand. You know what I mean? Kind of like, I don't know, Casio. And after having a cashier scan them at a Walmart Supercenter. So he actually waited in line, had the cashier scan the TVs, and then took off with them. Huh. As opposed to just trying to head out of the store with what them. What size? 40 inch. So hmm. while the 45 year old 350 pound Columbus Henderson, which was his name, was running through the parking lot, his pants fell to his ankles and he proceeded to leave them behind and got away. So now there's a 350 pound guy running through your parking lot with two 40 inch TVs, no pants, and he got away. Huh. Could you imagine? Q yakety sacks. Maybe they just didn't want to tackle him. Oh, you th- yep. He tackled himself. Like he. 40-inch TVs? You can make two 40-inch TV. TVs. Right. You got to get some. Get some. Make a run. Damn. Right. So I looked up these 40-inch <laughs> TVs. Why? Why? They're valued why, at like $195. Why? You know what I mean? It's Walmart, right? Like, so I mean, yeah. that's not. They were trying to get rid of that overstock anyway. What is, I mean, it's it's like, tax right off. Come on. Know, they're like, what is this? You, you steal that? Get out of here, man. <laughs> <laughs> run. Why are you running? Well, yeah, like, like, ooh, I mean, it, it, bar. it was, was like a brisk jog. It wasn't <laughs> really a run. Let's be real. It wasn't. It was. Right, yeah. it was more like a quack quack waddle waddle. Yeah. So anyway, when police arrived, they found his medical ID <laughs> in the pants. So he left his pants and his ID. Oh, behind. good job, wow. man. So even after watching a video of it all and finding his ID, it still took him a week to catch up with the cat. So this three hundred and fifty pound naked dude freaking outran everybody for a week. Two hundred and fifty? Three. Three hundred. See now that, that I don't know that guy cannot run much. I mean You wouldn't think, right? We're just is, tucked up into a ball and roll. But where did they find him? They found him at home. Watching TV. So, so they had his address? <laughs> <laughs> they had his ID. They had his medical ID. They, 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 wow. So yeah, it had all Taco his information Bell. on it. They found him at Taco Bell. So they finally caught up with him. Well then obviously they take him to jail from home. Well, when they arrived to the Pinellas County Jail, he told the cops he had a crack pipe in his ass. So as they're removing him from the car, he drops the crack pipe out of his ass onto the ground. What do you think was in the crack pipe? Feces? It sounds like, yeah. No, he already did that shit. It was just a Brillo pad and it was burnt at one freaking end. You know what I mean? So Wait, but he dropped it so at he was, will. So he, he was drop it. faking the drugs? Is his nickname? It was burnt at one end. I well, mean, he, he, he already did yet. the drugs, oh, obviously. Oh, the cops are here. But why would you, yeah. why, why just tell him? Maybe his nickname was Pockets. Maybe he Pock- was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing at 350 yeah. pounds, there's a bunch of them. There's, a, there's folds and pockets <laughs> and all kinds of things you can sneak <laughs> under there. I don't. Uh, Could you imagine? Uh, what if you saw that? I, like, what if you happen to be pulling into fucking I, Walmart and y- see this Well, we should guy. probably cancel our interview and get this fella in here and meet him and talk to him as an interview. That guy sounds interesting as shit. Well, now that we're almost over. Because, right, no, I'm sorry. Him. I mean, we'll stay here till tonight. I'm saying let's get this fella in for you guys because that guy must be very interesting. He gets caught trying to steal... 350 pound dude runs, leaves his. Pa- I mean, this is an interesting story. I like your story. style, bro. No, I mean, <laughs> let's get him in here. If you can get him in here. Well, not in here. You got any TVs you don't want stolen? <laughs> no, but I, he's, he'll still fold that one. Yeah, we can do a phone call. I'm not they sure get that one phone call. is going to hold him, bro. Yeah, his <laughs> TV's gone. <laughs> that, that fellow only gets one phone call. Maybe he can call over here. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a call, big dude. What's How do you feel? You got busted for doing that. I mean, <laughs> that's so hilarious. All right, so the next one comes from Fort Walton Beach. We've been there. Oh, yeah. Have you been there? Yeah. yeah. You cool. played there? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I don't remember yeah. the place. Was it, where's that, like Lauderdale? It's it, like in the thing. It's on Panhandle? the... Panhandle? Yeah. Panhandle, that thing. Yeah. Gotcha. I do that once in a while. The thing. Mm-hmm. When I'm broke. <laughs> Panhandle? Like yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're the guy I avoid. Do you drive up? <laughs> <laughs> hey, dickhead. You got a corner? No, don't talk to me, bum. So this 33-year-old Marquise Mercer ran a stop sign in front of a cop. He said he didn't stop because a fly or something flew into his mouth. Well, he didn't have ID on him and gave a fake name. The name didn't match any records and he was taken into custody. Then he gave another fake name. Uh, Jordan McFly. No, it wasn't. Wow. So, <laughs> it was Marty. Right. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So after researching the vehicle's records, they figured out who he was and asked him what was up with all the fake names. Well, he said... They have him on bullshit warrant from Crestview, and he didn't want to go back. <laughs> a bullshit warrant. 
<laughs> What's a bullshit warrant? Well, when everybody in a, with a warrant says they have. Yeah. Oh no, it was it was just something else. Don't worry about it. It was, it was just else. bullshit. It was taken yeah. care of. This is a mistake. The one you're going to tell them when they show up and I'm hiding out back. I'm not going to tell them <laughs> nothing. You're a dick. <laughs> so anyway, so he did actually have a warrant from in Okaloosa County and is a habitual traffic offender. He was charged with giving a false name and being a habitual traffic offender. Oh. Now, is that a charge? I didn't can know that was a charge. You can be charged with being a habitual traffic offender? Did you have any idea? But a fly got in his mouth. That's Which is his point. Was Have you ever been driving and like, a bee or something. Now that's that's bullshit. I had a wasp. Yes. Yeah, wasp uh, yeah. and bullshit. That I had to scary. drive the van home that day because she didn't want to get back in it because it was in the van. She didn't know when it came out. Suppose you go back home, Teen Wolf style. I mean, style she white surfing on the top of the van. I don't remember what happened, but um, I was actually in a drive-through. I was getting a sandwich at uh, Chick Fil A, and as I rolled the window down before to take the order, I um, and then drove up to the sandwich. I saw a wasp fly in the van and i was able to stay calm enough to pay for the sandwich get it and then i drove over and i parked and then i rolled down all the windows and then i ran out screaming and then I'm she impressed. started firing yeah <laughs> <laughs> that squirt one almost got him i missed the old van <laughs> how about a spider ballooning in front of you while you're driving i had that i was kind of like driving and oh, this is all these night driving that's the uh, worst that's the only I'm, time they happen i'm sitting there i'm like what the f- oh Fuck, man! It's little. It's, they're usually little dinky fuckers. No, you've never the had one the big that one. I had was the big. Oh, big the mamma jamma. That probably should have had a web. Wow, you know the ones that jumped. It was Charlotte. Over. Yeah. <laughs> she, she, he was he killed out. Charlotte. Watch out, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> I swear. Uh, oh well, that that, that I would have been like. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he was already. It's not down. a bear. Yeah, no yeah, bear yeah. No, you gotta. Very calmly got on the side of the road. Cause Say here, puppy, puppy. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, when I got on the side of the road, it would be just abandon ship and just, you know, that. I was on the interstate. Set it on fire and run. Just to, just set, set, the, car set, set the, the car on fire or jump out the window, whatever you Warning, guys there's a spider. Don't even. Yeah, just, just. Like her? Yeah. I'm not ordering a guy in the same way. If, if I see if a wasp is in there and doing that, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm like a 10-year-old girl. I'm smacking myself and jumping out of the yeah, car. Yeah, little around. stingers hurt. Them. Seriously. They sting you and it goes oh, no. Out. I was in denial, and I was holding that denial in. I was holding it back up until I was able to get out of that car. Don't let, <laughs> let it all out. I was crying. <laughs> Spiders don't scare me as much as wasps do. Like, they don't really scare me, but, like, I get the creeps from wasps because you can always hear them in the back of the van hitting that windshield going, I just don't oh, know what's yeah. They're trying to figure out how yeah. to get the help. Oh, they're all poisonous. Well, we, <laughs> they're, they're all venomous. We, they had, uh, we have had brown widows. Oh, yeah. I never knew what that was. Until suck. I saw one and it was like, uh, well, that's not, that, the ass on that thing is not what, that's not normal. You shouldn't have that. But <laughs> well, most, most brown widows have they a big ass. They start twerking. Dang. <laughs> nice round one. Right. They, uh, Chocolate they, widow. Yeah. They, they don't, uh, they, they, they don't kill you per se. Well, there's a small percentage, but right. usually the, you got an anti venom. So usually I don't, they I don't, don't inject. Like yeah. black widows kill like nine people a year. Yeah, because they never really inject their victims. They pull out. They always so pull you're out. safe. <laughs> they just muddy shots. Pull right. out of the widow. <laughs> <laughs> pull out. She don't kill one motherfucker. Yep. <laughs> just shoots a web. <laughs> Spider what? <laughs> so you, I mean, so you had a wasp. But you were about to say that you had a, a situation in a vehicle one time with it, with a bees, wasps. Was it bees. Yeah, it's bees, wasps, all those things. I, I used to smoke in my car, and I was driving. Windows are down. Sitting at a light. Theme. Oh, hey, that's my face. And yeah, that that was a bad day. Um, <laughs> um, it didn't sting me, but like I heard it go down, and it was sitting there in the the thing trying to figure out what the hell happened because I just bitch slapped it the next day. <laughs> And it I'm was a sitting, senior, bitch. Oh, yeah. I was like, no. <laughs> and it went right into the little cup holder thing on the side of the right. doors or whatever. Oh. And I'm sitting there at the light and looking at it. I'm like, oh, hell no. Hell no. So I got some paper and a napkin or whatever, and I threw it all on top of it. <laughs> and then I opened the door, and I went scoop and threw it on the trash, and I hauled ass, and the cop pulled me over and said, why'd you litter? I said, there was a wasp. So I got a ticket. <laughs> Because they don't give a shit. No, yeah, I was, it was a wasp. I, was like, I, I didn't want to endanger the other driver's uh, officer, sir. You can't even throw insects yeah, away now. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, I had a wad of napkins wrapped around it oh. as I threw it out. <laughs> it was like, That's right? Yeah, sure, but he didn't like that, and, you know, whatever. Right. So, <laughs> I got it dismissed. It's all he good. He was a wasp activist, the cop. Yeah. 
I told I asked, you know, said, can you guys like to get this dismissed? They're like, yeah. Do you have any proof of the litter? I'm like, no. I'm pretty sure you didn't go ahead and get that wasp because I was pretty scared, and so was he. <laughs> <laughs> so was that the Chris Farley movie? Please. Yeah, yo, it was like that. I was, I was, I, I'm pretty calm with that kind of stuff because I'm. Uh, Worst is gonna happen. They're gonna sting you. But he flew in my face. Bitch, get out my face. Don't touch my pretty face. <laughs> It's just, it's just like a slap. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So we have one more story, Mike, and it's yours, right? All right. So a uh, 68-year-old Florida millionaire received a terrible shock. The man and his 24-year-old bride discovered an unfortunate coincidence as they leafed through one of their old photo albums. The al- <laughs> oh shit. The album. In- <laughs> <laughs> the album included photos of the man's children from his first marriage, from whom he had long been estranged. His wife recognized her husband's eldest son as being her own father. Oh. When I saw my father in the photo album, I just felt an overwhelming sense of despair, she told the paper. The man whose second marriage ended in divorce and financial difficulties in 2009 uh, won several million dollars in the lottery jackpot two years (laughs) later. Uh, The woman he had uh, become estranged from her parents or had become estranged from her parents after uh, falling pregnant as a teenager... She was working as an exotic dancer in Jacksonville when the pair uh, when the pair met. Uh, they haven't been named yet, uh, but they met through the dating site. They, they didn't meet at the at the strip club, but they met through a dating site. Wow. Yeah, I think we're for all speechless right now. Months. So, and they're probably going to stay together because you know you can't fight love, right? <laughs> Florida the law can. Um, that's <laughs> that's incest, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, that's yeah. there. You go done. I fought the law, but Grandpa won. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, could you imagine you, you're sleeping with your grandfather and have no idea? Uh, that's basically you, what, that's what was happening. That's right? exactly what was happening. Can you imagine? That's not the only time that's happened. That's I mean, why you kind of keep it in the same age group. That way, it's at least a, a weird cousin, you know. Right, but, that's, you well, know, exactly. just be like, it still oh, could be a yeah. flipper baby, but yeah, maybe yeah, not. No, much. yeah, exactly. There's a 60, 70 chance or something like that. You know, you're that's good. Better than fifty fifty. Yeah, that's right. Oh. I so, mean, or if you're like me and sleep with your grandpa and know it. <laughs> It's not that big a deal, really. It's well, that, that's happened. You've seen the one where the lady was, like, dating her son, and then, like, all of a sudden she starts dating her daughter. Oh, and yeah, it's that's a, oh, yeah, yeah. episode throughout no, 2000 or Yeah, it's like, what is going on, man? Everything's also all Game no of idea Thrones. That, yeah. Oh, yeah, there's weird sh- shit out on the internet. I'm like, what the fuck are they sharing this for? I'm like, I don't and that's the whole thing. Is people think that this Jerry Springer shit is fake. I mean, I'm sure that there's some of these. There's you know, there's some stage, of it. There's But these some... situations no, happen, No, they definitely do. This shit's for real. Yeah. Jerry Springer needs to move his stuff down to Florida. And just uh, no just shit. Let him fight again. Yeah, he'll be he'll be ahead again. Are they not allowed to fight now? That, well, that's why a show fell apart. Oh, like it's <laughs> that's why it wasn't a gajillion. You know, uh, uh, talked about every single day anymore. <laughs> so he says, "I slept with my grandpa. I was four. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What you didn't sleep with your grandpa some... when you were four? No. Are mm. we talking naps? Yeah. I mean, it was a. J- it still sounds. That was weird. Right. It still sounds weird. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's the whole point. <laughs> like, as far as like my dad and my grandfather, there wasn't a lot of like, like, oh, I love my son or my grandson stuff. My my dad's very loves me a lot, but there wasn't a, like a lot of affection. So I, like, was always away from you know. But and there's you know. I'm with you though because like you know we we've, we've had I've had a very close family, mm-hmm. but we've never been the hugging you know. And I've had friends that are like yeah. they hug their sisters, they kiss each other on the cheek. We weren't that. We knew we loved each other yeah. without touching each other. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean, which is, it's not weird. It no. just wasn't who we were. No, is all that was. I, you know mean, I mean, with my son, I'm very affectionate. With right. him. I, you know, I hug him all the time. You know, I tell him that's the only way to beat Dad. You know, he wrestles at me. I can't beat you. You know how to beat me. And he gives me a big hug. I'm like, Argh! right, exactly. <laughs> like you win. You know, so that's his only way. Does to he beat do that me. with you too? I win. Right? Yeah, she I win. wins. She I wins. always win. She always wins. <laughs> <laughs> but, you're, but you're the lead singer. <laughs> no, I'm. Uh, well, that's not a winning thing. That's it's just uh, true. Not at home, motherfucker. That's, that's true. Our stage. Yeah, absolutely. Once we walk through that threshold. <laughs> yeah, as soon as we get home, it's like go ahead and unload the gear. Okay. <laughs> He drops his pants. Yeah. No. <laughs> gear unloaded. No. Our gear is two TVs. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. 
we got away, you fat yeah. bastard. <laughs> yeah, next time. Yeah. Oh. No, I'm just kidding. You're I, I, I would have went up for the 60 inch at least. <laughs> I don't know why he was going for 240s. Right. right. Go for 160 inch instead of 240s, right? Yeah, like unless he wanted to watch MTV and Cartoon Network. I mean, I don't understand. Who doesn't want to? That's what yeah. picture. Well, picture old was. MTV, though. Like, right. Know. Not, yeah, yeah, pre 2000. He was making a time machine. That's what he was doing. He yeah. put the crack pipe in his ass and he was getting ready to feel everything oh, rigged up. Oh, hell yeah. For three and a half minutes. Yep. I like the way he brought that back to the McFly reference. Absolutely. <laughs> Very good job. I'm <laughs> proud of you right now. <laughs> you didn't even know he did it, but yeah. Nope, not at all. <laughs> He's glad that you brought up that he brought that right <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, hell yeah, that's why I'm the lead singer. I I'm so fucking hilarious, <laughs> bitch. I sing a lot. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we're, you know, we ain't got a whole lot of time left, and I want to get back to you guys a little bit. Cool. So we talked about other local bands, you know what I mean, mm-hmm. somewhat. And you guys, you said you you worked with Red Calling. You oh, worked yeah. with mm-hmm. G2P. With mm-hmm. G2P, Mike actually went to school with Nathaniel. Cool. Nate. Cool. I, I call him Nate because we dogs, you know what I mean? Yeah. But <laughs> I call him the Nate, too. I didn't I Regulators. Don't know he changed Nathaniel. Yeah, I, like, that's a new thing to me. Uh, he was always Nathan or Nate. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, so you got to put your name on there, right? Is your whole name? On? No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Amanda Hammers. It's all on there. You How do you whole... abbreviate Amanda? Amanda. Mandy. Uh, not many ways to do you that. You put a dash before, before the first A and after the first A. It still sounds serious. A man. I know that uh, Dick. That. Uh, no. Dick. 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 For Dick Richard. For him, yeah. yeah. That's my middle name, is that's Richard. What, yeah, well, that's why I like to go by Dick sometimes. Yeah, try look, growing up as Dick <laughs> Dale. That's just tough, yeah. <laughs> One of my favorite sayings, and my friends will call me out on it all on, online, is, is that I hate to be a dick, but my name is Richard. So. I, like I hate that. it. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. it's a family name. Yeah, that one went over. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, I got it. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> it's over. It, it, You're like, uh. It just hit home. <laughs> 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 I'm, like, I'm glad I'm not the only Richard Dick in the fucking house. No, right fuck now. that. I'm not. You got a better one, too. Everybody wants to be you. Everybody wants to be yeah. rich. Nicest dick in the room. Yep. I just need to find someone named Famous. Be rich and famous. See? No, God. I got it. <laughs> God, you guys, <laughs> do you not appreciate puns? They're wonderful. Oh, no, I love puns. No, you don't. I, I mean, <laughs> you've been talking about dicks, and then you went famous. I'm going, what's dick and famous? I need to meet someone named Head, maybe. Uh, but Kim I'm Kardashian famous. is dick and famous. I, 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 dick and Head, dick and famous. Will you tell me. Yes. <laughs> I was stuck on the Black Eyed Peas song, or Fergie. There's, she does a song called Dick and Fabulous. Famous. Oh. Yeah, I am the lead I think singer. She says rich and famous. You yeah. would know that. Yeah, I know. Dude, I was attacked by Fergie driving one day. <laughs> Dude, it's distracting. What, I wrapped F- Fergie music? Fergie. No, oh, just do you Fergie. love that? Are we talking about a bee or a wasp? Yes. Come about Fergie. You were attacked by Fergie? <laughs> While driving. What? 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 Let's hear the story. What? what? Not really. I don't even know the bitch. Oh, <laughs> come on. <laughs> He's not rich and famous. Oh, that's right. But we're I gonna to change. We're gonna change your name to Famous. Sure, that'd be cool. Are you down with that? Yeah, why not? I if have got, this recorded, so you can use that for the. Yeah. I'm glad you said that. If you guys ever it, like, when, when I say if, when you get huge, would you be willing to change your names? Would you call me Moose as a nickname or Faint? I don't mean Faye. physically huge. <laughs> I, I used to weigh a lot more. <laughs> I mean, like when this band takes off, which is inevitable. I mean. You know how famous people change their names. Like Richie you know, Valens, they, they, they yeah, reconfigure yeah. the names. Would you be willing to do that? If somebody requested me to, I would. But would I'm, you really? Yeah, but I'm the lead singer, so nobody cares. <laughs> yeah. is, but it, my name's like, perfect, clearly. Are, like, <laughs> I'm changing my name. <laughs> would, would you buy into the like the corporatized? Like, like, are you okay with that? If if somebody from corporate came in and says, "Hey, here's your music. We'll put it here and put it on the record ninety thousand times." Are you willing to fall in that line? Her last name is Hammers. Yeah, that I think would be they'd badass. Wanna, I think they'd want to change someone else to my name if yeah. anything. Hey, what are, what are you yeah, trying to do? That's a, to no, that's a pretty yeah. dope name. Yeah. 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 I'm not. Changing. I'm the lead but singer put, now. They'll put two <laughs> M's there and screw it all up. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, it'd be Hammer Time. Uh, <laughs> have MC. You ever, have you ever thought about doing a, a, a duo album and just call it Nails Hammers? Wait, I just made that up all by myself. I love puns. I do too. What are you going to say? Something funny. So, something about a hardware store. That's what you're you're going with? Hi, Mom. (laughs) (laughs) We were talking about the hardware store. (laughs) She can't see us, but she can hear us, right? No, no, she's the one who said we could use more light. (laughs) Right. Yeah. (laughs) So, she can't see us. She can see the shadow. Well, if we all turn our phones on, (laughs) that'll. Never mind. 
<laughs> it's like a saliva concert. Free bird. <laughs> free Everybody bird. yell free bird. Lighters will come. Free bird. <laughs> <laughs> it illuminates. We're in the south, so you know, that's like 50 million bulbs. Yeah. <laughs> 50 million lighters. One million <laughs> lumens. How, how often do you guys perform? I mean, like, have gigs, if you will. Well, twice this weekend. Tomorrow we're going to be in St. Pete at State Theater. And then on Saturday we're going to be in Cape Coral at Rackham's. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, in, in general, like comics, for example. I mean, I hate to keep doing that, but, mm-hmm. I mean, you know, it's it's all entertainment. Yeah. For example, they're doing open mic nights three, four, five times a week. I knew, realize that for musicians it's not the same because you're doing, you know. Well, if we had uh, didn't have to have day jobs... We would probably do it a lot more. When you quit, yeah. When? Uh, when I when the 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 money from the band exceeds the money for the th- paid okay. day jobs, yeah, then we can definitely do it. But right now, we kind of have to save up and. It's ridiculous. Yeah, travel mm-hmm. in a van. And oh yeah, yeah. We all stink. <laughs> it's um. What, what's the hardest part about trying to progress? Like get to where you get to where you want to be. What's the hardest part of that? I mean, is it the promoting? Is it the performing? Is it the does grueling? It, does the day job hold you back? It's it's just more of a matter of time, I think. Um, money and money, money, yeah. right? Money, time, and yeah. Money. We agree. Yeah, Stupid yeah. That, uh, yeah. I mean, we don't, we don't need. We well, we need nice equipment. I mean, <laughs> like, I mean that helps. I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, but you're just gonna get it rested anyway. So. Yeah. Well, I know how to replace it. So with the Brillo <laughs> pad, we can really <laughs> scrape off that rust. <laughs> He just drop his pants and take off. He's yeah, no, absolutely. I gotta load the gear. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, th- seriously, I mean, do you guys do you guys promote yourselves quite a bit? I we mean, try. do you have someone yeah. that promotes you? Nope, all us. It's all DIY. Mm-hmm. Um, like, sometimes our our guy that's our record label, he he'll help us out here and there. Um, but uh, it's usually like um, Nicotone and Melodic Revolution Records. Yep. But uh, then there's, uh, you know, the, the the plays that do the show, they'll promote a little bit. And then what we count on the most is actually our friends. They're the ones that actually come to the shows and all that, and they get excited. Like, they'll bring people. They'll send people. And it's just like, That's the thing. what's going on? Like, yeah, I'm buying my boy Dylan a beer when I get to see him. Right. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to buy him one, too. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Dylan's getting two beers a Yes, night. he is. And, I mean, and we actually try to do that to – Appreciate the people that come in here. Yeah, you know what I mean because we're we're obviously just getting started. You guys, I mean, it's not a, it's not a secret. You know what I mean? Yeah. So our way of giving back is I'll gather up twenty people and go to a show. I'll gather up people. Awesome. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's just fun, and and you guys appreciate that shit, oh, right? Yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. same way you were just well, saying. Well, we appreciate it as long as they're like, what is this shit? <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> what is that crazy redhead doing there? He's <laughs> touching the guitar. For oh long. no, they're gonna be like, damn, that bitch is sexy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's uh, pretty. That's right. <laughs> well, it only takes that one time to hear that song, and then all of a sudden you hear it somewhere else, and it oh, yeah. just clicks. Or, oh. or me now, because like he said, I listen to a lot of my stuff through Google Play, and when I hear of somebody like you, Red Calling or whatnot, I will actually look up Google Play and get it that way, oh, cool. because it's just simple and in one spot, and it's yeah. the most organized. I'm going to keep it, but now I'm walking around the house or wherever else without my headphones playing that. Yeah. So they don't get the meter of who this is, but at least they hear it, and it's yeah. All they need is that one impression, mm-hmm. and now uh, creates more. I've been a victim of Reverb Nation. That seems to be my go-to because it's the easiest place to get play the playlist. Yeah. But where would you guys like people to go? And where do you want all the hits? Where do you want people to go and listen to the music? Where Spotify, Spotify, um, yeah. I'm, I, Apple Music, iTunes, iTunes, stuff like that. Right. Only, only because those places actually pay you, and people will harp on, oh, Spotify doesn't pay me but fifty cents on the dollar. But in reality, a lot of people gotta realize is that as opposed to buying your CD, you don't get paid every time someone plays your song in their car. So every time you get a, it's maybe a fraction of a penny, but it all adds up in the end. We don't have a... We have a... a, a what do you call it? Independent record label, right. what do you call them? Mm-hmm. Yep. So, like, we get checks from that. You know? Do you it's, really? Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah. YouTube oh. plays when we have a... We have a cool video up there for Go. Uh, we're going to do another one for everyone's watching, which is coming out very soon. Mm-hmm. Uh, Christian, we're going to go ahead and drop that name. You get a Google bomb. Play check, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. We get oh, yeah. Google Play check, iTunes check, mm-hmm. all that stuff. It all comes through CD Baby, which is awesome. It's like another part of a record label, which actually keeps the artists paid and taken care of. So 
what happens is they actually go through and track all that stuff, and then CD Baby sells your stuff and distributes it and all that. It's really, really kind of cool, you know? How so, cool was it the first time you got one of those checks? It, I mean, uh, no matter how big or small it was, how cool was that? Yeah. Oh, it was pretty big the first one we got because we did uh, the radio thing with, uh, Bubba. with Bubba. Yep. And yeah. you guys talked about that. Now, this obviously answers my question. That was huge for you, right? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, for our, our – yeah. I mean, yeah. for the band. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It, 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 I mean, we literally got – Two thousand something likes in ten minutes, and it was all people just and they were commenting and saying things. And we're like, "Holy shit!" I'm at work listening to this, and I'm like replying to everybody, like, right. "Yeah, no, yeah. yeah, thank you. You guys are awesome. Fuck yeah, because you are. I believe that they are because you're actually enjoying what we're doing. I mean, that that like That's why I, you do it? Yeah, I've been listening to yeah. the guy since I was a kid, and you know, he probably don't want to hear that, but ninety three three days, I was listening to the thing when my dad was working on a, a job, and right. I was sitting there listening to his van. Your little fetus. <laughs> yeah, your little fetus, whatever. What <laughs> you know? And I thought I was dirty, you know, raunchy, bad stuff to listen to. But then, like when I'm growing up, and I, he plays my song, and he goes over like he does, I'm like, me, oh. And then he said the guitar player is, you know, Manson said the guitar player is genius, and I was just like. Holy shit. He meant the bass player. Yeah. No, <laughs> no lead singer. It was lead singer. <laughs> no. But no, it was just a big moment. And it's like, like, and then we get the, my phone is going ape shit. I went, I went through two batteries that day, like charging and I'll just replying to people and Twitter followers and everything. And just, and then when we got the big paycheck, we were just like, holy shit, yeah. people bought a lot of our stuff. So that's a good thing. And you know, it made us feel like, you know, what are we doing wrong? You know, like, why isn't, why doesn't, anyone help us with the financials of this of the promotional stuff and it's like nobody can really afford to do it you know nobody can you know it, it's all about money now and who can buy what plays and all that every radio station now is all bought and paid for right of course any year on you the buy radio your spots. i mean you can have your own show on the radio and you're paying to have that show they're not paying you to be on there right you know what i mean yeah. seriously i mean it's ridiculous i've done that i've actually uh, paid to have a show on there it's yeah awful. yeah it's stupid and yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm with you because like you get all this recognition like, we've never had recognition to that level. But you get this positive recognition, and you're like, why doesn't anyone know who the hell we are? You know what I mean? Seriously. And he did. He took all of our stuff was and awesome. sent all of our information to record labels, really high-end ones, too. Really? Like, not crappy ones. And he put his signature on there, just big old documents. We're like, wow. That's 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 the ringing endorsement. That's it. We're It's, it's going to happen. Everything's going to be fine. We're going to be fine. Nothing. We didn't hear back from him. They're like, hmm. Yeah, sorry. The, so is it your 15 seconds of fame type of Yeah, thing. I guess so. I mean, so, you I, mean know. I don't mean that that's where it's going to end, but I mean, <laughs> Whatever, that's, how you, that's how you're coming across that's with That's where it. we kind of got our spirits broken, but also we stuck together and came together and started to kind of rebuild our own ideas. Oh, Jesus so we're Christ. Like, yeah. So we saw you at your highest highs and your lowest no. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I wasn't exactly in a gutter with heroin needle <laughs> drops or nothing, but I mean, we were... Well, but I was nailing hammers. <laughs> <laughs> nailing the hammers. Not yet. <laughs> So then we we went and we wrote a song called Believe. I think you guys played it. It's about being lied to a lot, and it's make me believe. So we were inspired by that, and then we just started making our own. Like we don't care anymore. We just want to have fun playing music. As long as people enjoy it, that's why we're going to continue to do it yeah. for as long as we can. That's awesome, man. And I tell you what, guys, and genuinely, I swear to God, I've been listening to that shit nonstop this is awesome. all the week. Thank you. And, and, that, and that's why, like, what are it, we doing wrong? You, it's freaking, it, you, you came here, first of all. Oh, no, no, not at all. This <laughs> you is make great. bad decisions. No. <laughs> you the How'd you let her talk you into this shit? Actually, Amanda was talking to you guys. So. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> I had my nails ready. Yep. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you very much for coming in. We really appreciate it. No, no, we appreciate How it. How does everybody find you? Facebook, uh, all the uh, all the jets. Go Facebook ahead. Facebook, go. Uh, you, you, website, Facebook, YouTube, online, anywhere. You're just Sunshine and Bullets. All Except for it. Twitter, that's at Sunshine Bullets. Uh, Instagram is at Sunshine Bullets. Uh, everything else is at Sunshine and Bullets. You Google us, we're there. Yep. You know awesome. that stupid tagline? Google us. Yeah, yeah, we're there. Your favorite website. We're probably there. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll get all your information when we're done here, and we'll share it. Awesome. Oh, thank you. To three people. <laughs> <laughs> Three's enough, right? Well, That's more than here, ours. Right? <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, yeah right, guys. didn't even show up. <laughs> yeah, he didn't. He was all like, ah, I'll, I'll listen to it later. <laughs> all right, Amanda's mom, thanks for watching, well, trying to watch and listening. Miss um, Hammers, Mr. Nails, I mean, <laughs> not Nails. All right, right now. <laughs> Nails sounds like something <laughs> to go get done. I don't. Or I don't, did. For whatever. the last time, thank you and Michael. Fuck off. I'm pretty. All right, I hate you. All right. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. You're listening to Open Mic Live on OpenMicTheShow.com. 
IRMBroadcast.com. Tune in next week. Who do we got coming up next week? We have Funny Lady. Funny Lady coming in next week. Uh, we've got some great guests scheduled down the line, too, so definitely and then, tune in. Yeah, the following week is G2P. That's what I'm at? Yep. Well, funny lady and then G2P. Every week, every Thursday, 7 p.m. Uh, we haven't had a day off in forever. Actually, let's take G2P's diet off. and then uh, We'll, we'll just let him come in. <laughs> yeah, it'll be fun. <laughs> Nate, have fun. All right, guys. Thanks for joining. See you later. <laughs>